Hopefully now. <laughs> Hopefully we're all good. All right, it is last epoch time. <laughs> hey guys, what's up, Blog? Hello, Ali. Hello, Morning. Hello, as well, Exodus. I'm gonna be live on both Twitch and YouTube today, so yeah. Um, I do have like the old game client open at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll organize that shortly. Speaking of which, I actually need to organize some fucking splits for this game. Or well, maybe not. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know what max level is in this game. I think it's 100, right? I don't think I'm going to do splits, but I might just put them there just in case I'm trolling. Because I'm kind of just keeping a timer up for the sake of having a timer up. But yeah. Is this an AI VTuber? It is. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to download. I'm going to have to download like 8 gig in like 10 minutes anyway. So. I'm keen. But I've just got this screen up because at the end of the day I like don't have any other like you know replacement screen or whatever. But yeah, am I winning? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. I haven't actually played this game before, so it's all brand new to me. Posture check. Yep. <sighs> now you guys have. Now you guys like actually get to see me like you know posture check and stuff. Oh god, hydrate. Um, let me quickly pour a water. Um, that I actually haven't thought about yet. I might run Trade League for the first- for the first run through. But yeah, I'm thinking Trade. I don't know. <laughs> I can't decide. Like, I'm- I'm thinking- because they have true offline mode, right? So SSF could actually be a good experience, especially for like speedrunning and stuff. So yeah. What's up, Master Bobby? How you doing? Also, I hope there's no issues with the scenes or anything. Test. D. X. Okay, yeah, it's fine. The chat doesn't go too far over. <laughs> they do SSF really well in this game? Yeah, it seems like they do. <laughs> Let's do speedrun? Nah, not yet, man. Oh, speaking of which, I need to get my build guide up. Max roll. Oh, yeah, I should probably make a command for that, shouldn't I? Let's do that. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing Blade Dancer. That's the one. Yeah, it's gonna go 1.0 very, very soon. Very, very soon. Add com. Uh, build. Uh. Leveling? Endgame. I think this is what I'm running. What's up, Chip? Big like. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. Ponder, perchance? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, TJ. What up, dude? Uh, adcom build. Hopefully this is right. If it's not, then awkward. The command has been added. Let's fucking go. I guess I'll do the same thing on YouTube. And before it's too long. It's too long! YouTube suppresses everything. Why? Fucking hell. <clears throat> Alrighty. What's up, Messi Lago? How you doing? Hey, Zofeto. I'm not doing too bad. How are you? Hey, Pizu. How you doing? But yeah, no, I still don't know if I want to do trade or not. I haven't thought about it. I have not thought about it. Cam pretty dark, is it really? Is it really? It's not that dark, is it? 
I mean, my lighting has to be kind of dark to some extent. I can turn it up a little bit, but otherwise it's gonna like fucking turn into an oven in here. Maybe you just have a dark screen, hmm? <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is. I don't know if I want to put chat on this side. Maybe I want to put chat on my third monitor. My vertical monitor. I don't know. It's just awkward since I have two chats. It doesn't really work that well for me. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, but I actually need to like fucking understand this stuff. Also, I need to get the loot filters ready. Link, download loot filter. Okay, I've got my raw GitHub. Awesome. Feet cam unlocked? Are you saying I look like a foot, bro? What's your problem? <laughs> New game and face cam unlocked? Yeah, I know, right? This is 2024 Kano right here. We're a variety streamer now. <laughs> Alright, only five more minutes until we relaunch the game and then hopefully, uh, yeah. I don't have a screen to put up in the meantime, I mean, I can have a quick look and see if I've got any, like, assets. Oh shit, my hard drive is getting fucking low. Um, let's see. I downloaded a bunch of shit. But I don't know if they have anything good. Let's see. Creator assets. Can I do anything with anything in here? Stream loops. Ooh. I'm interested. Oh yeah, by the way, I've only had like an hour of sleep, guys. <laughs> I, like, could not sleep last night at all. So I ended up walking to Maccas at like fucking 10pm. And it's like 3 in the morning now. I slept from like 1 until 2. Pretty good. Pretty good. So as you can tell, I'm like, I'm, I'm prepped and ready. I'm hyped. What did I get at Macca's? I got a quarter pounder. This is all like 4k stuff. Wait, there's Twitch overlays. What the fuck? Bruh. <laughs> why Why did the- Okay, I'm not gonna question anything. And <laughs> they sent out assets that like- They sent out an asset and it's like in a zip file. And then in the zip file, there's a zip file. <laughs> it's just- Just funny to me, that's all. Just funny. But yeah. Sleep isn't needed, you're fine. So true, dude. So true. But yeah. What's up, Nikita? How you doing? You didn't know I had a face, I know, Enjoy, I know. Most of you guys on YouTube have, like, never seen me before, so yeah. What is the server? Is it really D2R? No. I'm not doing any form of speedrun or anything. This is just gonna be, like, a chill, casual playthrough to some extent. Like, I'll still be a little bit speedrunnery, but not, like, crazy. Do we actually get to see Sweaty Kano? Uh, what time is it? Four? Almost 4 a.m.? Give it about, like, four hours when it's, like, eight in the morning and it hits 30 degrees? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, I have, like, no screen to put on besides, like, I mean, I can take a look at this loop. But I think it's just a logo. I wonder if it plays music. If it plays music, that's gonna be awkward. Face cam. Face cam. What up, Wills? Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Yes, face cam, actually. Alright, let me go ahead and quickly add a... Oh, what the fuck do I add here? It's a media source, right? Yeah, it's a media source. Media source. Don't make it visible because I'm stupid. Um, loop. Browse file. E. 4K loop logo. Hopefully this works when the time comes. Uh, let me just make sure it's like at the bottom. Uh, 
What happens if I put it above the game? Oh my god, that thing is huge. <laughs> uh, preview scaling. Um, transform. Bit to screen. There we go. Cool. We can just have that up in the background while I download. Because it looks cool. But yeah. Anyway. Alright, it's time to close the video game. And get ready for a patch. And probably close Steam while I'm at it too. And reload Steam because that's always what happens. What's up, Leela? Busy today? Busy day today? So be back later? No worries, TJ. Take it easy, man. The gamma is minus 100. I mean, I think, as I said, some of you guys just have dark screens, but I can turn the settings up a little bit. It is also dark, like it's nighttime, so... I'll turn it up just a bit. There we go, maybe. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Yeah, it's like fucking 3.30. 3.30 in the morning, dude. Alright, Last Epoch is not showing an update yet. But do you have hands? Yes. Face cam before guide. Shut up. <laughs> One cannot unsee a man's face. Maybe you're just used to YouTubers having full blown light in their face. I mean, I've got one that points towards me like this. There's like one that points at this angle and then there's one that points towards my wall. But yeah. Come on, man. Has anyone else got the update yet or no? Is it just me like suffering? This always happens, I swear. I'm gonna try to play the game. You're not alone? You haven't got the update either? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Is this real life? It is real life, I think, actually. That thumbnail- oh my god, sorry, yeah, dude, I didn't even think about the thumbnail. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> um, oops. I didn't think about the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> it's still a D2R fucking screenshot, oh god. <laughs> That's great. Blink twice if you if you were forced to do this cam thing. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, I'm closing Steam. I'm sorry. Hold on, I need to maybe fix that if I can. Is that even possible for me to fix it easily? Go live, live streaming, edit. I don't need to open up Steam again. Um, yo. What up, Johnny? Can I just remove a thumbnail and have no thumbnail? That's probably better than having a thumbnail at this point. Change? It only lets me change it? Oh god, uh. Uh, Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop help. Actually, no, better yet. Let's go Last Epoch. Last Epoch 1920 by 1080. Help me Google, please. <laughs> I'm in desperation right now. Alright, good enough. I don't, I don't know if this is even like a good... Wait, hold on, let me see. This is... Nope. This? Sure, whatever, we'll work with this. I don't even know what this image is, but we'll save it. E. Oh, last epoch downloading. Let's fucking go. Um. All right. Dude, why did you remind me that I like have to do so much shit, like so much shit that I wouldn't normally have to do? Uh, bruh. What is? What did I save this as? Uh. Okay, it's saved as 119, apparently. Anyway, carrying on. 
file is bigger than- Oh my god, I'm about to fucking lose my mind. Please. Hopefully this one's good. It's a WebP file! Oh my god, I'm gonna go next. It's not- it's not happening. I can't fix it. <laughs> I can't fix it in time. I can't fix it in time. Wait, hold on, let me see. How far is my download coming along? 17%? Yeah, I still have time. It's just the worst part is I can't even, like, I can't even change the last epoch thing, like. You know what, fuck it. Let's see if this one works. It's small, but it might work. Maybe it work. It works! Alright, we're good. What class am I gonna use? Uh, whatever the fuck Blade Dancer is. What a big Zeth. Hello. <laughs> hey, Fizzo. Yeah, there's a cam here. Yep, I am doing the old face cam thing today. Alright, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think we're good today. YouTube thumbnail should be 720p. I think it's like six six hundred and sixteen p or something like that. Something stupid. Something silly. But yeah. Anyway. Anyway. All right, we're almost ready to video game. I'm gonna quickly put this media source below, but I'm gonna have to hide it afterwards. You guys need to remind me to hide that fucking media source because otherwise it's gonna go crazy on my CPU. Crazier than it already is in it. Last epoch says 60%. You look way better than I thought, lols. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what? what, is every D2 speedrunner just meant to be, I don't know, butt ugly or something? Is that, is that how it's meant to go? <laughs> you weren't expecting to see my face ever? There was always gonna be a time, you know? There was always gonna be a time. But yeah, like the stream boys, yeah, you heard Ben. You heard Ben, guys. Like the stream on YouTube. And yeah, we are live on Twitch and YouTube today as well, so. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm still a piece of Dude, Voodoo, what the fuck? Bro. <laughs> I saw your message. I saw you say, holy shit, <laughs> Cameron Kano, Pog, good luck and fun today with Last Epoch. And then just immediately gifts 50 fucking subs, man. What the hell? <laughs> All right. I guess congrats to everyone who got a sub just then, and what the fuck? Stream elements chill. Stream elements chill. Dude, thank you so much. You know what's really bad about me playing Last Epoch right now? Is that I have fucking Slash Players 8 copy-pasted. I have Slash Players 8 copy-pasted. What's wrong with me? But yeah, no, I'm keen for this today. It's gonna be like- I'm not speedrunning or anything, okay? Just, like, full disclaimer, I'm not speedrunning, okay? It's not a speedrun. It's- it's like a- it's like a slower speedrun, if that makes sense. Like a walkthrough. Is this a speedrun? I'm about to permit you. I haven't played the game at all. Like, this is my first time playing. I didn't even play anything at all. Like, offline, nothing. I have no offline character, no nothing. I've never ever played this game before. Um, I was going to play a little bit of it, but by the time that I had it downloaded and installed, it was like... Um, the servers had gone down. And I like tried clicking play offline, hoping that I'd be like, oh, maybe the offline mode works, but it's like, nope, didn't. It just didn't. Ben, thank you so much for the 9990 MYR. Wait, what is, what is that currency? What is that currency? Let me, let me check this out. What is that? Oh, thank you, dude. That is so generous. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. That is, that is, that is crazy. 9990, that's cool. Yeah, I was I was thinking to myself, I thought it was probably Malaysia, but yeah, it's, it says Malaysia. Thank you. Where choo choo? Where choo choo? Uh, it's close, apparently. It's close, Mercy Lago. <laughs> Solid noob, thank you for the 100 bits as well. There's the hype train. Chad. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Where? Where? Always thought Kano would look like a tainted, bro. You look like a tainted, okay? Is stream buffering? Oh, shit. 
Why is stream buffering? That's not good. Is it because I'm downloading? It could be because I'm downloading. What if you accidentally sped run it without meaning to? It could what happen. What D2 mod is this? <laughs> it's last epoch mod. Last epoch mod. Dude, why is my upload speed shitting itself now? Come on, don't do this to me. Not now of all times. Turn off media source? It's not that. It's upload. It's it's the upload speed. I literally see it tanking. And if that's the case, I might have to do something as a backup plan, but let's see. Hopefully not. Uh Oh, shit. I'm already 8k here. That's not good. I thought it was a bit higher on YouTube. Yeah, hopefully it's only buffering for a little while. My internet might be doing the, the poop. But hopefully once it's done, it should be good. I The worst part is I even did a speed test today and it was like, yep, you still have 37 upload, which is plenty, but yeah. Cheers to a new start. Yo, Oracle, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. Cheers. I don't have alcohol, but yeah, cheers. <laughs> How big's the download? Um, 7.3 gig apparently. So yeah, we're gaming. Camera taking all the upload. It's true. It's true. It's just weird because it's not even downloading that fast either. I don't know, man. I don't know. How am I? I'm doing good. How are you? Different game and face cam. Where are you? You're in a different place right now. This isn't my stream, but welcome. Also, holy shit, level nine hype train. By the way, that that that's obviously all like the fifty gifted Let's subs. Let's make but it yeah. a speed run. <laughs> it said it differently. It didn't say speed. Sometimes the TTS doesn't know what to do. Like it's like, you know what I found funny about that is you put an exclamation mark at the end of it, and usually when you don't do that it makes it sound like it has an exclamation mark. When you put one there, it makes it sound normal. It's like, what the fuck? It's so backwards. It's so backwards. Mega regular schmuck is at 58% done. What's your download have to go? Uh, mine's at 95. So, unlucky schmuck. I don't know if I just started earlier or if my internet is faster, but who knows. I think he probably, to my knowledge, he doesn't have the best of internets. I think he has like probably uh, 50 by 20. Something like that. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> Dude, I've dropped 11,000 frames, by the hi. way. It's fucked. I really hope it's just the download doing this. Because if it's not, then I am fucked today. I'm watching my upload speed just drop down to, like, 4K, and that's not good. I might have to not stream on YouTube if that's the case. Which uh, would be not so nice, but, yeah. So what the fuck is this game? Basically, the way that I would describe this game is it's the in-between of Diablo 2 and Path of Exile. What internet do I have? I have 100 by 40 or something. Okay, the download is done. The game is launched. The media source is dead. Speed. Speed. My upload speed is coming speed. back. Let's fucking go. <laughs> the other 400 bit rate streams. Also, uh, Dara Dara, thank you so much for the seven months of Prime. I appreciate that, man. Welcome back. And Ali, thank you so much for the 100 biddies with the speed. All right. Prage. Okay, I think my upload speed is returning to normal. Very good. Uh, what do you guys think? Offline or online? I'm going to play online. I think I'm going to play Trade League. Fuck it. I'm gonna play online. Get me in. Alright, settings. Do I need to do anything? Wait, hold on. I need to grab... Oh shit, bro. Where the fuck is the guide? Ah, guide help. My leveling one. Uh, loot filter. Download loot filter. Pog. Very pog. 
Alright, uh, I don't think I have to change much. I've already changed the settings. The funny thing is I did launch the game and change some settings, but that's that's one thing that I did. Streamer mode. Only if it's stuttering. Alright, all good. Uh, which one even is Blade Dancer, by the way, guys? Is it Rogue? <laughs> it's Rogue, right? Yeah, it's Rogue. It's gotta be Rogue. Is this Rogue? I'm gonna assume this is Rogue, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Let's get Kano. Great character. Hmm. Solo account found or solo character found? Maybe for my first character I might go solo account found. Or I could just play normally. No, if I'm playing trade league I have to play normally then. Yeah, I, I think when I do speedruns I'll do these too, obviously. But I think for this I'm just going to play like regular trade. But I'm not going to trade. Like, I won't trade until I feel like I want to experience some of the more endgame stuff. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Normal. I don't want to die. I'm going to die a lot, probably. To my knowledge, death is going to happen. Oop, that was just very loud. Bruh. You still can't make a character? What? You might want to go offline in case the servers have a bad day. Oh, true. Hmm. Stream mode, so there's only public domain songs and stock sound effects. No suggestive themes. <laughs> no, not quite like a... Isn't that like Baldur's Gate that does that? Game on. Oh yeah, as well. By the way, if any one of you guys are actually looking at getting this game, you should purchase through through my Nexus. Do that. If you think the game looks cool and you want to get it, and you want to support me a little bit, um... Yeah, purchase the third Nexus. I'm not like, you know, I'm not sponsored. It's just like an affiliate thing, I guess. Or whatever. Kano has a face. He does. He does, doesn't he? It looks like the servers are fucked. <laughs> it looks like the servers are fucked already. So maybe offline is going to be the play today. Maybe we, we are going to be true offline. Oh hi, thanks for checking Leesh. in. Leash, so thank you so much for the 12 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate that support. Holy fucking one year. What kind of dog is this? What do you mean? Are you talking to yourself? You looking in the mirror again, bro? What a dog is this? There's another update. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's another update. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Guess I have to buy it again. No, Exeth. No, no, no. Not, not again. You don't have to support me that hard. <laughs> Fucking hell. AI generated. Guys, I'm, I know we live in the age of AI now, but it's like, this is me, I, right? <laughs> no onesie? It hasn't come yet. For some reason they said that it's going to like ship out. Well, apparently we're meant to be getting contacted in March. So I don't know. I'm waiting on all that shit. I'm waiting on all the physical. Is Kano chat on screen about a minute behind? I think it might be you, Paladin. Refresh. Everyone probably needs to refresh. Kano, read when you see this. Refresh! I'm stuck in a loading screen. You're still downloading the patch? Oof. Why was I not surprised that online is not working? Ah, uh, this is softcore. I'm not going hardcore. I'm not that game. Can I even make it out of the loading screen or am I just like forced to crash the game? Diablo 4 launch vibes, anyone? Yeah, I was kind of expecting this to be honest. But it's okay. At least we have true offline so we can still experience the video game in its full capacity. Dodging is a big deal to not die. Oh shit, we're in. Okay, we're in Pog. I've never um, been this far from the slums. No looking right. back now. 
Time From what I've seen in the speedruns, these guys just run. Okay, wait, hold on. What the fuck? What do I actually have? Why does Q just make me force move? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, like I actually have to like walk up to them and slap them. I see. What is this thing? Uh, a message from the, from the counselor. Oh shit, yeah, timer. Wait, why is timer not working? Hello? Whoa, splits editor. Stop that. Invalid run. <laughs> Invalid run, fuck. Did I just close the splits all together? Oh, ah, don't die now. Okay, now it should work. Timer, there we go. Good. Immediately being attacked. Yeah, from what I've seen from this game um, at the start, at least I've watched, I have watched a speed run, but only like the first like five minutes of it. I just see that they just run. They just run past and skip everything. But I don't know if that's a good thing for me to be doing when I'm like learning. Also, holy shit, where are my potions? There's one. Flaming bastard sword. For me? What up, Mike? I'm not gonna lie, things feel a bit weird in terms of like responsiveness to like pick shit up, but yeah. Alright, let's see, can I actually equip this? The Burning Forest. Non-ethical? You're non-ethical. It's fine. That time counts for the loading screen, okay? <laughs> Even though I would've started timer when I loaded in, but... It's okay. Wait, am I supposed to talk to this thing? Nope, it's just a burning corpse. You know what, I'm gonna do the traditional thing that I always do whenever it comes to stuff and just not enjoy the lore. Ooh, we love it, what the fuck? Let's uh, shoot shurikens now. Whoa, that's cool. That is cool. Let me guess that this game's actually kinda hard sometimes. Also, potion being on one. Ooh. Immediately dead, holy shit. What did I get killed by? A Nova, apparently. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Am I just like too under level or what? Oh, let me see. What does this bastard sword do for me? How do I determine my damage? Estimated. Ah, okay, the bastard sword's actually good. Believe it or not, chat, the bastard sword is good. When you arrived, was there a family? They were they waking what? Are you good? Name oh, come. Come. Watch you fight. <laughs> I'm glad that they left the most important voice line in when you skip the dialogue. And <laughs> dead in 1 minute 30. Oh shit. Dude, I need to like I need to like look at my health. Like that's the one thing as well. It's like getting used to different keys and stuff. Cuz like Having to play with using abilities on Q just feels weird to me. I might actually unironically rebind my shit to F keys. <laughs> like it's just a D2 thing, man, I swear. And for what? Alright, we can dash now. We're dashing. Dash. Oh, it actually does damage, cool. I think I'm seeing that like the dash, at least with the uh the blade dance thing, is a. Uh, it like, it leaves like the the dagger behind when you like get up to that point. Also, what is what? Hold on, let's let's take a moment to look at what I have. Oh, actually, let's not. Am I dying? Okay, let's let's take. Ah, how did I get that up? I. All right, we're gonna need to look at the buttons real quick. I don't know what I am supposed to press for that. Settings. Uh, gameplay. Input keys. Is an S. Potions one. Ah, skills, yes, S. And the, ah, so the skills and passives. Okay, so skills. Oh shit. Alright, let me let me look at this build guide thing. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Hmm, yes, quite. Hmm, yes indeed. Did someone mention a guide? No one mentioned a guide. Congrats on world first death. Wait, chill. Chill with that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's see. Apparently, according to this video game, I'm supposed to put points here into Swift Assassin. Before level 5. Oh, 
Oh, so they put skills and on Maxwell they put skills and passives together, I see. What does this even do? Can I assign skill points here or something? Oh, I have to click the thing. So it seems like I do deep strikes, I guess? Go full dex? Why are you so funny, man? You have not specialized in this ability. How do I specialize in this ability? <laughs> this map sucks. Yeah, I got bad RNG here. Uh, let me see. Wait, so like, how do we actually do this? Is it like a thing that I can only do at level 4, for example? I'm just ultra confused about like where the fuck I'm supposed to be putting things, or is it because I put a point to a passive tree already? Also, can you respec your shit easily? I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and just press buttons and hope that I'm Where'd doing shit right. Fight? But it's okay, we'll learn. Probably has something to do with the fact- I'm level 3, okay? Chill. I'm level 3, okay, we gotta go up here. I see an icon on the map. That's my gamer instincts kicking in right there. Quick, the forge reaches town. Oh god, not the forge soldier. Anything but the forge soldier. Whoa. Wait, was that him or me? Oh shit, he's well winding. Bruh, clicking ahead. shit in this game feels a bit clunky. Oh, well, I. What the hell is this? Throw damage, cast speed, increase mana regen. I like damage. Personally, I'm a fan of damage. Also, it's such a habit to, like, click shit on and off like this. I should just be, like, clicking. Wait, how do we, how do we compare? Control. Can I make it so that it always compares, or just sometimes? Oh, they have shift drop item. That's amazing. That's literally the best thing that uh, that I've seen in this game. Yeah, we apparently roll dice in this game. Oh, I'm entering the keeper's camp, but I'm actually not. You unlock stuff while you level, and yeah, respec is easy. There's an NPC uh, with a head icon. I see. Cool. Don't do the thing where you compare every new game mechanic to Osu. Whoa. Who's comparing to Osu? No one's comparing to Osu. Osu stream when? Mm, right now. <laughs> Last Epoch over D4. Honestly, anything over D4 at this point, yes. Yay, I got gold and experience, confirm. Imagine having to confirm shit. Not happening. Wait, hold on, I put force move on a thing. Oh, I have force move, let's fucking go. I can use five. I can save my hand. Sounds like their leaders. Wait, the keepers of it's now. I'm sorry, of, but I do not care. Sounds like the keepers of it's oh, he says the same now. thing if you just talk you to him again. To the keeper. Here are soft protection. Pros Thus, guys, I, suppose we accept I would try. I would try so hard to get into this law, but I just know myself. I know I cannot immerse myself. <laughs> Exclamation mark law. Ah, I see. So Hello, this is the head I come person, and you can just do this freely. I'm so happy. Nothing has made me happier than knowing that I can respec for free. It costs gold, okay, never mind. Do never mind, it costs gold, well okay. Good to know. Won't be doing that right now. I'm still level 3. Uh, speak with Keeper Lena in the Keeper camp. Wait, didn't I just do that? Wait, Keeper Lena's up there apparently. Um, uh, let's put that on. Don't need a two-handed two stuff. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I should compare items. It's gonna be weird holding down control for that, but yeah, forging potential. Hmm, what is this shit? Interesting. Anyway, uh, where is he? Grail was just telling me what Balthus and I remain. Oh god, now I have to actually pick here. things. 
But you could do this. <laughs> Did I just? <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck just happened. I just like picked like random shit. <laughs> Boxes level eight already go faster. Yeah, he's probably actually played the game, dude. Grimace, thank you so much for the the tier one membership, man. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Laura is thus far. Angry oranges fall from the sky to attack women. A mysterious guy meets you and angry man with armor attacks you. Sounds about right. Sounds sounds like most stories. I'm trying to understand how this shit on Max Roll works, like... Basically, like, you can put, like, three points into deep strikes at some point. Before level five, apparently. What's with the loading? Uh, yeah, it's an online thing, I guess. Teo and crew look like they can't connect to the online service. Oh, is Teo running with other people? I see. What's up, Adori? How you doing? Is that a skill? Yes, it's a skill. Flurry, flurry is the skill, and then I, it's like the passive node or whatever. Like I don't know if I can show you, but uh, it's here. I'm supposed to be able to put points into this apparently before five. Don't know how. Do I unlock those points at four? Is that what it is? Oh, uh, okay. So I drag flurry up to the top slot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see it. Yep, it makes sense now. And this is just a passive tree, which is just... Yeah, okay, cool. How often do you get passive points? What's up, Laurie? You haven't seen me before? Could have sworn you have. Your Nexus Link wasn't working, so, so this will do? Wait, is my Nexus Link really not working? What do you mean? It should be. I, I, it works for me, but I don't know. Nonetheless, man, thank you. Alright, we're stuck in like a 50 year cutscene. But yeah. What's up, Alpha Star? How you doing? Boom, 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 boom. Holy shit, there's like five pings in the creator discord. What's going on here? Initial burst of load is hitting the matchmaker quite hard. Working on scaling it faster, this may result in failed or slow scene transitions, especially in town zones. Hey, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking of leaning towards an offline character. Just to experience the game. Yeah, it's like a huge launch. Ba basically, like... Last Epoch is probably being hit with, like, Diablo 4 audience plus Path of Exile audience, so... Because it's the launch of the game, um, it's a mad doc. It's the full final release. It's been in early access for probably the last, like, four years, five years or something, but... Um, yeah, this is the, the full, full release. I really got a posture check, dude. Posture checking myself. It's very pretty. Yeah, it is. It is kind of nice. I do like the colors. I don't think they went too overboard with it. Do 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 do. This purple stuff on the ground. I think there's just like flower flower petals or something. Yeah, just look like random flower petals that I just scattered. He barfed in town, bro. This ain't barf. These are, these are petals. 
<laughs> it's funny how, like, you can still see all these people running around, there. Like, everyone's just running around trying to, like, get in. <laughs> They're like, let me in! There's an offline global chat? Oh, that's nuts. I turned off chat. Initial reaction, why do the characters run so weirdly? They do... They do a little... They do like a little bit of a forward run, like... You know. Oh. I didn't realize where the chat box actually sits, because I haven't, like, played the game before. Hold on, let me see. I might need to move my cam up slightly. It's okay. It'll be fine. Right? You guys can't see any of chat anyway. Let's make that cam a little bit bigger. But yeah. Definitely a bit of an anime run or something? Yeah. It's got that anime run to it. Please roleplay? What do you mean please roleplay? What do you, what do you mean by that? Needed to open in a new, uh, incognito. You share the link with your buds? Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. I mean, obviously, like, you know, I hope they enjoy the game if they do plan on getting it. It looks really fucking good. And, like, I'm, I, like, I've only played, like, five minutes of it. <laughs> and I'm stuck in a loading screen. I'm about to get out of this thing. What do you guys think? I'm gonna need to see at least a one in chat if you guys want to see me just play offline. I'm gonna need to see five ones. Otherwise, if you want me to just stick it out and try and play online and eventually play Trade League later, we can stay here, but... That's two, that's three, four, five. Alright, let's just go play offline. Leave game. It's okay. We know how to do it this time, so we're gonna speedrun it for Ryu. Where's the link again? Exclamation mark Nexus. Uh, how do I switch to offline? Create new offline character. Cycle officer fresh new start. In a sure. Alright, we're a rogue. Alright, we're named Kano again. Because I'm very original. And all my characters are Kano. Do we do solo character found? Solo character fan will not be able to play with the party nor obtain items. It doesn't make sense. We're offline, right? You're getting screen blurring in 4K? There might be a setting that you can change for that, but hopefully not. Uh, well, ho hopefully you don't have to deal with that. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't have anything to do with graphics or anything. That they've 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 mentioned that the loading screens are fucked at the moment. Solar character means you can still share like a stash, I guess. So hold on, yeah, this character will not be able to play with the party nor obtain items by found by other players. This includes items you find on solo character found. Hmm. As opposed to what? If I don't, because I remember there was two options for the other one. What up, frenetic face reveal? I mean, I've I've done like face cam and stuff in the past before, but yeah, it's probably like the first time in a while since like I don't know, like season two ladder or something. Just means your offline character can't use the gear your other other offline characters find. Ah, okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should I go character f character found for an offline character or no? I think for the sake of learning the game, I might not. Yeah, there's not much point in going SSF. Not until I'm like actually speedrunning. We'll uh, we'll we'll, ju we'll just play normally. Yeah, I was gonna say it literally doesn't matter. 
Because, like, if I get items for another class that I want to try out, like, it would be useful to, like, just hold on to them, for example. So we'll just do it that way. Because I'm definitely going to want to, like, mess around and just fuck around with all the shit. But yeah. Okay, let's go. In the beginning, there was darkness. In the beginning, there was darkness. That's the, that's the dialogue that we oh, missed hi, last time. checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Yo, uh... I've never been this far from the slums. Rizzo Cam, thank you so much for the, no, the prime sub. Now. Appreciate you, bud. To leave Michelle behind me. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill any of this stuff. Like, from what I've seen of the speedrun, they just walk past it all. Probably kill it all at one point or something. Why does it not let me inspect properly? Krabby wishes to destroy ah, right. go spam it all. That's what it is. Let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. Better for sync enabled, nice. Glad that hopefully helped. Ah! Oh, not again. Oh god, not again. Dude, this, I won't lie to you though, this ability in particular is super fucking clunky. I'm gonna die. It's okay, we're regening, guys, we're regening. <laughs> ah, what the fuck, man? Chill. What's his problem? What was your title D2R speedrunner meant to be? Yeah. So people know, like, what I've come from. He must be hungry? I think he was. He seemed a little hungry. It's been like three years. It hasn't been that long since I face cammed, okay? It's been like a year. Chill. D2R hasn't even been out for three years. The bodies are burning. Alright, we're gaming. You didn't put D4 speedrunner? Yeah, who the fuck cares about that shit? Not this shit again. Not this shit again. I'm not dying to it twice. I don't know what the fuck I died to in the first place, but... I'm not dying to it again. Alright, come. Come! Come! Again. Like, that's that's gonna be the thing of the speedrun. Every time. We're just gonna come. What's D4? I know, oh, no, right, PG. How you doing? What's up, Jang? Most of this stuff I don't even need to be killing, but I'm just doing it anyway. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, I think there's probably a way to change it so it's not like that, but I'm just like stupid. Clicking things on the ground feels a bit clunky still. Wait, can I dash through walls? Aw, oh, damn. Would have been awesome. Some of those, uh, some of the, like, uh, sounded like so much like fucking, uh, shivery. Oh shit, chill, 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 chill. Also, I keep pressing Q instinctively to fucking... I keep pressing Q instinctively to heal. I keep thinking it's D4, even though I haven't played D4 in ages. So what's the storyline? Beats me. <laughs> so I don't fucking know. And I'm not gonna know. Ow. You're asking the wrong guy for story. Uh, I don't know, I can't play story in a game like this. I don't know why. Maybe I will, like, one day. Maybe we will sit back and do a lore playthrough, but not right now. I'll see you, ahead. you have to be super precise with clicking gear, I think. Oh, I didn't even think about the filter, the loot filter. Um, How do I put that in? Shit. 
Shift F. Shift F. That's the forge. Oh, I pressed Control F. That's why. Shift F. Loot filter. Importer filter. Uh, paste clipboard contents. Oh shit. Let's fucking go. Kano is the chosen one and something with oranges. Yeah, that sounds about right. Doing well? How's Last Epoch? I've just started playing it, but uh, I've been really looking forward to this. Like, I've been watching a lot of the gameplay and haven't played a single bit of it. So many other people are all, like, into it, sweaty and prepared and stuff, and there's me who's just like... Yeah, hey guys, first time playing here. <laughs> Speedrunner, by the way. Speedrunner, by the way. Filters are very complex. It seems like it, but it's good. It's good. Anyway. Let's uh, let's take a look. What do we have? More damage equals gooder. I'm gonna assume that, I don't know. There's gotta be something to do with some sort of specialty, like of like clicking, like playing uh, fucking, like playing with a sword, for example. Like maybe my character specializes with like daggers and shit because I'm a rogue, you know. Sounds like they're the keep it's now speaking of. Sounds the keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Oh shit. I click whoa. That's a big map. Where are we? Law, guys, law. This is law right here, okay? We're learning things. Okay. Cool. I've seen it all. I don't need to see anything. Hello, traveler. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do not dwell on regrets. Hello, traveler. Wait, we can dash in town. Mm, thank we weren't able to do that earlier. Grail was just telling oh, congrats on 99, PG. Very nice. Grail one of them both, but could you do this? Do this. We'll okay, I'll do this. Eventually, at some point, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start speedrunning this game, and then I'm gonna get used to all these fucking voice lines that play at the end of cutscene dialogue. Like, I'm gonna spam the fuck out of skipping dialogue, and then I'm just gonna be like, for the first guy, it's gonna be come. For this lady, it's gonna be do this. And then, like, you know, it's just, it's just all gonna get stuck in my head. Whoa, chill, chill, chill. I'm trying to take on maybe more that I can actually handle. Boy. I don't know what the hell that does, but it looks cool. Now right, let's take a moment to look at some shit. I think I need to get these. And according to my build thing, uh, before five, hold on, let me see. Before five, I'm supposed to put flurry in. I ain't reading all that. Why can I only put one point into it? When do we unlock Puncture? Whatever that is. Level 5. Interesting. Ah uh, yes, I will be playing the D2R season tomorrow. I'm gonna be running with like Jim Llama and a few others. And then I'll probably play Last Epoch a little bit more straight after that. What's this thing? Is their loot just not showing because it's on the filter? Like it's off of the filter now? Interesting. Right, I'm gonna see something real quick. Do I do more damage? Nope. Do I do more damage with this one? Nope. Hold X to disable your filter. It's like a temporary thing, I guess. Oh, wait. 
Does the message in chat always come up for? Interesting. Ooh, a big chest. Hide gloves. A big spear with increased stun chance. That's pretty cool. Movement speed, pog. Oh, we didn't have a second weapon slot. That kind of sucks. I see movement speed and I get hyped. Oh, we lost damage at the expense of it there. It's not worth. That acid flask is, gets put like way too far ahead of me. Like I think it just shoots it in one direction, right? But I see how it works. Like I get it. Whoa, shit. So yeah, from what I can see, like things are just falling from the sky and we're kind of just getting like butt blasted by them, I guess. I'm definitely going to need to change my hotkeys a bit, man. It feels really clunky playing like this. Just found an SOJ. Congrats, man. Let's fucking go. Boy, stop that. Stop that. Why am I... Oh, I'm fucking dying here for sure. Whoa, what's happening to my sound? Do you guys hear that? Or is it just me? Do you guys say that or is it just me? Just me? Alright, uh... Something is very fucked. I know what's happening, but... Um... All of my sound is fucked up, and it's like super staticky. Um, it might break the stream, and if it does, I'm very sorry. But I have to fix this. Oh my god, it's crackling even worse now. Is it done? Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? That was so wild. So something... I think what's happened in the game is that it's triggered so many fucking sound bites. And it's fucked my voice meter. Like, my voice meter was just like... Everything just sounded like static, basically. It was just like... Brr, brr, brr. It was like a staticky reverb kind of fucking sound. And then I... Restarted the audio engine, and then it started with some crackling and popping, and now it's good. I don't know. I'm a bit worried, but yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen all the time, because that's, uh, that's not going to be so good. Uh, I need to get the health potion. Right. At some point I need to, like, actually grab, a. Uh like, pay attention to my skills and stats and stuff. Also, I should probably equip uh, that and that. I'm just gonna assume they do more. I don't actually know if they do more. I didn't read. Typical speedrun things. No read, just go. Stupid ass cool hog. Can I actually redirect where that thing goes? Oh, I can, okay. I thought the poison potion actually like goes in a front, like specific direction, but I guess it's because my cursor was maybe there. I'm gonna lie to you, this like flurry ability is like my, my favorite. Or shurikens. I think there was a setting to mute voice lines? Yeah, I think you can actually, I've, I have seen that. Or some dialogue at least. Yeah, let's take a moment to look at our passives and shit. I'm gonna take a look at the guide here, let's see. So it suggests that I go puncture. But how the hell... So it says before level 5, apparently I'm able to put like, 3 points into deep strike somehow. I don't know how that works. <clears throat> That's weird. That's very weird, in it?
Go do den for plus one skill. Nice meme, dude. I'll go do that real quick. Click on the arrows at the top and on the bar at the bottom. Progression. So basically in this leveling there's like puncture, number blade, shift, synchronized. And this shit is so confusing, I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, it's definitely more complex in that in that regard. For sure, it's way more complex in that regard, but I don't think it's like PoE level. Like, obviously, you don't have a massive PoE fucking tree of shit that just goes on. But what I'm trying to understand is, like, all this stuff, like... Because apparently I'm meant to be able to put... an extra point here when I can't. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep going. Maybe I'll just take a brief pause, like, each time I level. It's definitely a good challenge, though. I will say. Like, I like how easily you can just get popped. Top left skills was changing color, you mean this? Yeah, I already- the thing is like that part it makes sense but apparently according to max roll I'm supposed to be able to do all of that before level 5 so I don't know. Oh, I saw Tai Tai do a thing here. I wonder if it's still possible. Ah, fuck! Okay, maybe they patched it, but apparently, yeah, uh, you were supposed to be able to click that and then die to this guy. And apparently, it's faster. Get why you're so angry. Like who made him this way? shit on. Alright, let's actually take a look at the stuff. Cool. Can you actually click this from over here? I need to find out. Is there like a special spot? I don't know. You never follow guides? I have to follow guides. I'm too stupid to improvise. Hey Misha's B, how you doing? Alright, I don't have potions and I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm fucking dead. I'm like actually dead this time, like this is no joke. Dude, they're so angry, what's their problem? <laughs> this looks kind of funny, I ain't gonna lie. Forgot Kano had a face. Hey, me too, dude. Ooh, a critical strike to try and. Let's go, let's crit time. Oh, right. Uh, where am I supposed to go, Angerman? Oh, we have a map! Dude, I didn't even think about that. 
Imagine pressing tab. Wait, dude, is this poison potion not just broken? Or is it something else that's better? Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually dead this time. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much for the 19 months. Thank you, thank you. GLHF. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. Yeah. You ever just do that? <laughs> Why are they so angry, man? Like, who pissed them off? I know it wasn't me. But yeah, apparently you can just spam the fuck out of this person. Oh, it has mana cost, that's probably why. I thought it was just like spammable, I was like, damn. Hmm. I... You killed their dude, so now they're after your dude? That's kind of rude. Brave, brave Sir Kino ran away. Oh, I didn't quite run away, I just died. Oh, so I think that's what it is. That's why. It's like you get passive points. So I think they expect you to be like lower level and have these passive points. Like, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just going to keep putting points here into deep strikes until I figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Hold on, I need to put this back up here. It's just the max roll guide that's got me like super confused about like skill progression. Cause it just says like before like five, but I'm I'm like level fucking six. <laughs> so it's like, huh? Anyway. Uh, and passives. I think Swift Assassin you just keep putting points into from what I've seen. I think that's the one that you max. Probably outdated, it could be. Not I don't know if they changed the leveling system, but yeah. Looks like Kingdom Hearts, you think so? You know, I'm just gonna skip. Actually, not bad. Oh, I have to kill this guy, it's a boss. That's why I can't skip. Note yourself. Don't try to skip unskippable content. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. I'm not playing online, I'm playing offline. This way! You're here to put death the son of Drake! Tread carefully! Holy shit, dude, these guys do the hurt sometimes, don't they? time for me to switch over to puncture but maybe I'll do that next waypoint. Not happening. What is this? You can see a caner? You can. Get the big damage. Not happening. Oh, I'm fucking dead here. Jokes. Not happening. Let's just slice him up. Fuck it. What could go wrong if we just stand there and take it? Not here. It isn't safe. 
This is giving me more damage, I'm confused. Nope. Wait, does it? Critical strike chance though. Critical strike chance is pretty cool. First impression? Fucking awesome because it's different. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly thing for worth a it if you don't know why Orion is after us. I'm just gonna pick up all this shit. Is there a place where I can like salvage shit in town? Yeah, to me this is like the mix between D2 and PUE. But it also feels a bit different and it definitely feels a hell of a lot more like... I don't know. There's there's some parts of the game that just feels like it's super catered to like ARPG players and stuff. But the, the, the whole like clicking of things, oh that still feels clunky man, it's hard to get used to. It feels like you gotta be like super precise, which is not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion. Not necessarily a bad thing, it just like... Just something to get used to. What the fuck is that thing? Landing resistance and throwing damage, very cool. Intelligence, actually I think. Wait, I didn't even have anything on before that anyway. I'm walking into a wall. So faster than D2. I don't necessarily agree with faster at the moment. It feels slower right now, but it might ramp up. It just plays different. D2 can get pretty fast sometimes, especially if you're playing like Sword. But... I ain't gonna lie, the Acid Flask actually feels like it could potentially be broken for leveling. If used correctly. You could just group up a shit ton of monsters and just like... Like just fucking... acid blast them I guess you good Fizzo you chillin' what game is this this is last epoch mr. snack uh, got released today it's been in early access for the last like three or four years or something like that but yeah it got released today Would be great if we could log in. You should be able to log in at least, right? I think it's just the uh I think it's just the online that's not working. I'm playing an on uh, I'm playing a like solo solo character offline at the moment. What are these shards? I always see myself picking up shards, like physical damage shards. Does it just mean that I just passively get more damage or something like that, or what? Or do I have to use them? I want to see what that chest is all about down there. Hit transfer materials. Oh, they're these little materials, I see. Crafting mats. Right. And I should probably sort out, shouldn't I? To avoid the inventory Tetris. Is there a reason why they make it separate? Like why they make it that you have to click the transfer materials thing? Seems a bit redundant, but maybe I'm wrong. No, I don't think I've seen it. And plus half the time whenever people say I look like someone, they're always like way off. Maybe you might be right, who knows. Did I just see increased movement speed? Oh, they both have increased movement speed. Hmm. 
Probably won the touch rating on that one. It's not much movement speed increase. Chance to bleed on hit. That sounds pretty cool, but I don't know how much damage bleed does, so. Am I in a town or no? Where's the town even? Town. It says town. Oh my god. That also says town. Waypoint locked. Waypoint locked. Let me guess. That's not the town that I've been at. Keeper's camp. Okay, let's go back there. I think I'm supposed to respec into puncture. You look like this one D2R speedrunner. Oh, really? Really now? You look like that guy that sold a Sork Torch on ladder. Now that's more like it. That's more fucking like it. Uh, Jenga, if you're still here, how do I, like, is there a way for me to, like, salvage all this shit? Or sell it? I guess there's an armor vendor over here or something. Hmm. Where do I see my gold? 706. Use the runes of shadow to get crafting materials. What do you recommend? Do you recommend selling, or do you recommend crafting that? So just sell it? Yeah, fair, fair. It definitely seems like gold would be a little bit more valuable, even if it's only like small amounts that all this shit sells for. That spear is interesting. Oh yeah, no, I looked at that. Whoa. What did I just do? How do I sell? Shift right click to buy an item or sell it. Okay. What is this thing? I can equip that. Ooh, I can equip that. That's cool. Crafting mental OP for late game, at least from what you remember when Boxer was playing early release. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But, yeah, like early game you probably don't need it so much. I'm just gonna sell things for now, and at the end of the day we can figure it out later. Gimme money. Should I buy anything from here? It's probably overkill to buy shit. I think the only time I'd ever buy things is like, damage. Oh shit, speaking of damage. Made a hundred gold from that? Hell yeah. Worth it. That hundred gold makes me able to buy this now. Holy shit, these runes are shattering, cost a million. This is tempting to buy. Just because it's big flat damage, it has 10 melee physical damage on top of the already 20. Buy bow? I'm not playing bow, you dumb idiot. Sorry, that was that was mean, but it was true. Um, I'm gonna buy this. I want it. Right. Surely I do more damage with it, right? Wait, can I swap? How do I? How do I? Why is it? Why is it not equipping? Is it not? Okay, that's actually a damage increase. Pog. Uh, let's respect. Hello, traveler. Hello, traveler. Wait, so does it cost gold for each respec thing? Where does it say gold? It's not costing gold. Blade Dancer uses dual wield. I think early on I'm not even a Blade Dancer, so probably doesn't matter, but I assume later on, yeah, it's dual wield. Oh shit. Okay, I ain't, re I ain't on respecting that. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that. But. What about the skills? Oh, wait, can I change this at any time I want? Like, is this not a respec thing? Oh my god, it's not even a respec thing. I'm tilted. It's fine. Wait, how do I get this out then? How do I take it out? Respec? Remove points. Despecialized skill. I don't understand the difference. Level up the skill as normal again to spend these points. D spec removes it from the top. Interesting. Oh yeah, so like each individual skill has a level, I guess. Why would you want to remove points though? That seems so fucking pointless. 
Oh, so you can like put it else. Yeah, put it elsewhere. Okay, that makes sense. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm Illinated. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Appreciate it, bud. Welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy the emotes and the ad free watching. Okay, do specialized skill. Oh, it removes all skill points anyway. So it does the, it does that anyway. It literally resets it to level one anyway. Whatever. It's fine. Is this a new mod? No. Oh, level 8, I get that. Cool. It will make more sense later. Okay, cool. Is this the Llama RPG beta? No, unfortunately that's turn-based. And does anyone play turn-based in, like, 2024? I don't think so. Alright, so according to this... Oh god, this is not the same. Wait, it is the same. Oh, okay, so basically, like, to my understanding, these kind of work like... gems in PoE, but they're dedicated skill slots. Like, you level them up as you play, right? That's why, obviously, here, in this case, it's accelerated, because it's, like, a skill that I've recently just unlocked. Okay, it's kind of making sense. They're, yeah, they're kind of, like, half, like, gems in PoE, but, like, but, like, not. <laughs> I guess. Alright, anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Navigate. The Keeper Vault? Is this the place I need to be? I'm assuming this is a quest icon. It's as if every skill had its own passive tree. Yeah, that that part I understand. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure that you. Who do the keepers? It. How can they? Who do the keepers? Who do the keepers? It did. Who do the keepers? Who do the keepers? Hmm. Hello. Hmm. 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 Guys. What's going on? <laughs> Why is she humming at me? <laughs> what up, Bang Biddy? How you doing? I'm sure you have questions, but let me first. Who do the keepers? How can they claim a greater connection to its error than us? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. This ain't online, though. This is offline. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's me right now, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, that, that I was gonna say that is very bugged. Um. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try sure waypoint out and waypoint back in. But first, check and make sure the e-box safe. Let's go to the fortress walls. Yeah, at some point, like all this stuff, I'll get used to like all the menuing and all that shit. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie though. This menu here, like this, this, this map, low key, kind of looks like. You ever seen like one of those mobile games that has like. You know, they're like, oh, we have so much stuff, and there's just so much shit to just click through. And, like, half the time it's just like, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it reminds me, there's this one game that, like, my old housemate used to play. Um, it was, like, some, like, clue game or something like that. You'd always have to, like, click, you'd click on a place to go to, you'd visit it, and then you'd have to, like, click on all these different things and try and see, like, what it was, but yeah. Um, like all these different objects, you'd be like looking for something specific, like you'd, you'd have to like try and find like, I don't know, a painting in the background or something. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the e safe. 
Alright, let's see if the epoch is safe. Mm. Nope, she's still homing at me. Alright, going back to character select, I guess. Giving up D2 yet? What do you mean? I didn't realize that playing a game for a day is me giving up on D2. But no, I'm I'm just chilling. Playing a little bit of the last op last epoch launch. And uh, yeah. Bro, what the fuck is that thing? Hold on, we need to take a moment to look at this thing. What is this? It's kind of cute. You get lost once or twice when you have to travel between the areas. Sounds about right. Imagine I get so bugged to the point where my character can't even progress. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Hmm? Oh my god, she's still humming. Hmm? Hmm? Dude, what do hmm? I do? She's just fucking stretching and humming in front of me. Like, what's going on with this? I don't get it. Pretty sure the old guy is meant to be on the ledge. Where? Yeah. It's telling me that I have to go talk to the keeper guard, and that's her, is it not? No, back by her. Where? On the empty ledge. Someone said it was bugged in old chat. Above her. Is he in town? I'm sure you have questions, but let me first- Who do the keepers a deal? They sent no- How can they claim a greater connection to its How can than they us? claim? We're the servants of Raya, the inheritor of her domain. <laughs> She's just not into you, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, okay, save the old dude one more time. Interesting. Thank you, Cyrix. I don't know if I went too far back, but maybe. Not happening. Also, apparently I never respect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, he's not there. Um, let's see. Why did it not respect my shit? Oh, puncture's not even like on my list. How do how do I put it oh, okay, that's why. Sure. I don't know what the hell this ability does, but let's find out. Oh, that's that. That is cool. That is cool. I like this. That's more like it. We're about to do the stabby stab. Water shrine. Not happening.
happening. Not happening. <laughs> yeah, what up, bro, Guinea? This way. You're here to take the shot, the drink. Tread carefully. What are you doing here, old man? Not happening. Huh. I won't forget. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the good luck. I'm not really doing like a speed run, so to speak. I'm just loving the game, but. Yeah, title title just says that I am a speedrunner. But I'm definitely being a bit dumb learning this game. This isn't my like first time ever playing this. I haven't really seen much gameplay of it either. Like I've watched like very little. I've watched enough to be like, wow, it looks cool, but not enough to be like, oh my god. Whoa, don't take the hit. Okay, we're gonna do Not here. It isn't safe. The reconvene that should hold them. That's lovely. Would you want it? Well, tell you that what. That should hold them. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. <laughs> You have a bunch of cosmetics, you can't equip in single player. Oh shit, that's interesting. I haven't even thought to look. How do you equip cosmetics? Because I do have the ultimate edition. Up here, I want to grab it. They only fall online? Ah, oh, okay. Glyph of Hope. Oh shit, we got a fucking haste round. Let's Not fucking go. Time. It's time to fucking speed. It's time to literally speed run. I gotta really get used to the fact that like Oh wait 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 shift targeting oh we can shift we can shift click it's fine everything's fine everything's fine we can shift click We don't even need to have aim like we don't even need to have proper aim we can just well yeah we need to have proper aim on some shit but We don't actually need to have proper aim we can just shift click Alright let me look I'm level 9 I think Let's take a look at the shit here Speaking of English, give me a second. Um, I've got to do some passive stuff. So basically, the passive tree looks like I just keep maxing this until it's inevitably maxed. The fuck a smoke bomb? How do I use this? I ain't gonna bother using it until I know what I know how to use it. I guess. Uh, okay. Ah, so now I understand why it says before level 16 on the thing. 
Like, it kind of gives you, like, an idea of, like, roughly where your skill specialization should be at relative to, like, where you're at, I guess. It's a little bit confusing because you're not always going to hit these levels, but, yeah, in general, I think, uh, yeah, should be okay. This looks like D4, but only better. A little bit, actually, honestly. Alright, now hopefully this time, yeah, the bug doesn't happen anymore. I'm even gonna walk him. That's how. That's how like scared I am of this bugging out again. I'm sure you have questions, but who do the keepers adhere to? Who do the keepers? Good. Don't tell me you're still fucking humming. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we can talk to her, dude. That took way too long. Hmm? No longer humming. Not happening. Thank you, Xerix. Appreciate you coming coming in clutch with that one. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I'm honest. I would not have thought to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What up, Charlton Tank? How you doing? I ain't gonna lie, this waypoint looks fucking awesome. Whose idea was it to do that? Except for the part where, where the hell does that water go? That water doesn't look like it's going into anything. Maybe it is. I gotta sit up straight a bit. My posture is so bad sometimes, like I swear I just get like, big, big comfy. Wait. Oh, dude. They have the same problem as D2, man. When you right-click one of the fucking rings, it swaps it with the ring that's, like, on the left side, and it doesn't put the other one on. That's so annoying. That's so fucking annoying that that still exists. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh yeah, I can't wear this, that's right. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Everything okay? What? Everything that okay? Are you, you stay what? safe? Stay safe. Stay alive, and bring both us back. All right, I'll stay alive, I guess. Everything okay? What? That and what? Are we there? Are you stay safe? Stay alive, and bring both us back. Enter the Highlands. Where are the Highlands, chat? This way. Which means we have to go this way. Ah, I see the thing is flashing. Ah, oh, we gotta go all the fucking way around. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Also, I should probably read up on what my shit does. Okay, let's have a look. What does this actually do? Increase quantum recovery speed and mana efficiency. Awesome. Literally the best thing in the world. What does this shit do? Bleed chance. Ooh, so apparently bleed chance is good. Apparently we like bleed, which makes sense. Bleed is usually good in most of these games. I notice it. Does your look change when you change armor? I believe it would. It just hasn't yet because I haven't really changed armor. Wait, there's a waypoint though, right? <laughs> Not happening. I wish I could see the level of the monsters that I'm fighting. I'm also gonna have to like actually pay attention to how much experience I'm getting because I think I'm a little bit too over leveled for the zone I'm in right now. Right. Oh, area level. Oh, true. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely a little bit over. Over leveled. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna lie to you guys. Like, I actually think this poison thing is fucking batshit insane. Like, why not just... Why not just fucking level with this shit? And literally just, like... Play, uh... You know what I mean? Like, just get a high base damage weapon and just fucking drop poison all the time. Like, maybe it's still better to just stab and apply bleed chance or whatever it is. Probably for bossing. Makes sense. But this poison potion looks pretty insane. What up, Franklin? Oh, I get what you mean. Like, sometimes you go to, like, an early level zone, I guess. Level 9, we're fucking gaming. Alright, I'm gonna have to look. So here... Put one point into the bloodthirst. And here I need to continue to put points into. Wait, no, I put one point into this. Movement speed buff! Holy shit! We are momentuming. Wait, I got momentum yet. Yeah, never mind, I have to put one point there. What's up, Neriso? How you doing? Speed! Oh, wait, hold on. Passive points? Are we passive pointing right now? Putting one down here, I think. Dodge rating. Very cool. Everything's so shiny? I know, right? Dopamine sim. You're here for the epoch. Reminder, if any of you guys do want this game, though, use my Nexus. It helps support me. And obviously, you buy the game that you want. I'm fine. Stop him. Okay. Sure. I guess, yeah, that poison thing would be no good for bossing. Bruh. I took up a lot of the fucking space. Oh, what is this? Bleeding Fury? Increased bleed chance. So it seems like a thing. Does it apply on all damage? No, it's just the, just the sweat. Whoa, fucking chill, 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 brother. The what is what? Alright. Not happening. Wait, why are the health potions- Why are they out of the playfield? That's fucking troll, man. The bastard is like, because he was on the edge of the playfield, he spawned potions I can't get. That's fucked. That's unethical. I'm pissed off. Fucking, I can't even get this one. Like, le legit, this one's like fully unobtainable. Oh, it the Bible, which, speaking of which, I must reach Lena at once. Do you even have any slots? Slots for what? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I had slots available. I've got a uh, belt that lets me hold three. Ooh, armor. What is this? Let's have a look. Mana. Increase health regen. Ward gained on use with swift. This is swift, right? That's shift. Oh, with shift. <laughs> it says shift. I'm fucking brain dead. Increase cold damage. Melee lining damage. I don't do any cold damage, so that's no good. Glyph of Hope. Transfer. Sword item. He's back. Oh, by the way, who's the Forge person? Like, who's the person that I talked to to, like, crush my shit? Is it the armor person, too? Or the person next to him, I guess. Oh, this is a side quest? No, not fucking side quests, dude. Why do they exist? Yeah, to shatter it. Or is that in a different town? <coughs> no. God. Anyway. Right. 
Yeah. Press F. Ah. Wait, no, but like, you said something about turning these into materials. You drag the piece. And then it's one of these buttons, sure. Select Shatter. Which one is Shatter? This one? Oh, Rune of Shattering. Have to use a rune? You have to use a rune of shattering? Oh! Should I not do that then? Guide up top. I ain't reading no fucking guide, okay? It's gonna make me mad because it's like, why can't I put one of those out? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll save it for later. Interesting that the item just stays there. That's kind of cool though. Like this is essentially like a cube. <laughs> you can like just store it like a cube. Kind of annoying that you can't easily put it on. Can you... Is there an easy way to... Shift right click to move to forge. Oh, okay. So shift right clicking puts it there. Okay, cool. It's good for me to know these like hotkeys for speedrunning type and shit. It's all thanks to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to waste runes on them. That makes quiet. sense. Back. No, no. Uh, Alina. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry to you too. Listen. Alright, where, where am I supposed to go, game? Tell me. Alright, we just got fucking swallowed. All good. <laughs> Lita. What is this place? I don't seem to have gone far, but everything looks so different. Is there anyone here? It doesn't tell me the area level of this place. Scary. Does it not tell you if you're in line with the area level? Like, for example, is this area level just mine? Yeah, I know, that was fucking loud. That was pretty fucking loud, in it? Oh, yeah, yeah, shows, shows up when you have the map up. I see, I see. You're right. Thank you. Not happening. What's up, McLellan? How you doing? Bleeding from the ears isn't good. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that would be a very good thing. I think my issue is that I do tend to like just like fight shit too soon. Definitely need to wait for things to group up a bit harder. But I think it's kind of hard when this guy's like following me and like baiting shit to attack him too. Nice to see your friendly face cam. Yeah. Where are you, yeah. Where are you watch going? Over you. Maybe it'll be a regular thing, who knows. Gods. Or at least more often than not. Who knows. And uh, I don't like face camming during hot weather, and lately it's been very hot. But uh, yes. luckily it's only like fucking 5am, so it's kind of true right now. But probably in like three or four hours from now, I'm gonna be like, oh shit. Right, let's take a look. Where do we go next? In terms of skills, uh... 
Minimum skill level increased. Dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them and how many skills will be- Ah, oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So at some point, I'm gonna guess that the minimum skill level reaches a certain threshold where, like, maybe everything is just automatically at a certain level. Like, for example, if I put stuff in now, like, it's always gonna be level 2, right? Is that how it goes? Yeah, okay. Does it does it hit max level? Like for example, every time you put a skill in, like is it always just the min the the minimum specialized level is the like the maximum amount of like specialization that you can put in or whatever? As you level up your minimum skill, I think it's like twelve. Ah, uh, interesting. And what do these skills even go up to? They cap at twenty, right? <clears throat> so I guess every time you like want to swap them in and out, you're always going to have to do some form of leveling, but that kind of makes sense. Ugh, fuck it out, sorry. I'm so tired, dude. I only slept for like an hour. I don't know if this is going to be a long stream today. I was thinking of doing a long stream, but who knows, I'll probably only be live for like four, five, six hours. Knowing me, I'll probably play <clears throat> probably play some of the game off off stream too a bit. Just casually. Minimus! Minimus! Leave me. He called him a stupid mutt. But I ain't gonna lie, he's kinda just looking at him while he's dying. <laughs> Stop being mean! Hey, Daniel. Mm. Are we supposed to keep trying to re-enter the game? Um, it's up to you. I guess if you want to, you can, but you can go, uh, you can go single player, I guess. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just playing with one. Yo, what up, Azer? How you doing, dude? I think I saw you were playing this the other day, right? Oh god, shit feels so hard to click this sometimes. This is my first time ever playing. I didn't actually play any of it during like any of the betas or anything, so like this is all like a fresh new experience for me. And I'm kind of going in a little blind, like I'm following a guide, but that's about it. Oh, you and Django are playing, nice, nice. How far did you guys get into it? Jenga's kind of been coaching me here a little bit on shit that I didn't know, but... At some point, I might give speedrunning a try on this game. Not happening. Not happening? Oh shit. I thought that was a opening, but apparently not. Oh, you only played one day. Fair, fair. Yeah, I tried to I tried to load up the game um, before the server maintenance, but unfortunately the download took too long. I I got it very very last minute though. What the fuck is happening with the filter there? Interesting. Oh shit, that's a sword. That looks cool. Let's put it on. Does it do more damage? Doesn't look like it's doing more damage, but it's probably doing more cool things. Giving me ward is always nice, because ward is that like it's kinda like energy shield, but it's like like fades quickly or whatever. What brings you here? What brings you here? I found them. Got to like chapter five. Nice. He didn't really want to play before 1.0. Right? Yeah, I kinda felt that. That's why, like, I didn't really touch much of the game. I honestly didn't watch much gameplay either. Like, I just sort of fucking... I, like, watched bits and pieces, but I was just like, yeah. I didn't want to, like, go too hard at first. 
Because I know everyone else is just gonna- everyone else has already been so much more sweaty, you know, like all the other fucking content creators. Like all the people that like I've played Diablo with and obviously I've seen the POE content creators are just like all just like, oh god, need to prep for speedrunning and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just like sitting here like, yeah, I'm a speedrunner, but like I'm just like, I'm just gonna do a casual playthrough, you know, like I might half ass it, but yeah, at some point I'm definitely gonna look into speedrunning this, so this, this feels pretty fun, like already. And I don't even know what I'm fucking doing, so like imagine what's gonna happen when I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be good. Surprising is smooth when playing on US East. Yeah. I don't know like obviously how the game is netcode handles things, but yeah, in my experience, like, I've played fucking D2 online, and D2 online is some of the worst fucking netcode you've ever experienced. You literally just walk back and forth 24-7. It's been a while since I've played PoE with Hyping. Um, like, probably years, actually. I think, like, 2020 was probably the last time I played PoE with Hyping, but, yeah. Wait, hold on. I have another passive point that I can assign. Wait, do I have a passive point? It's a passive point, right? Maybe I should look at passives while I'm fighting this guy. Can I just stand here and take it? Since I have wood? Kinda? It's like, not so bad. Go on. <laughs> Don't know. Don't need to dodge if you've got that, I guess. Game looks good. It is pretty good. It feels pretty good. There's some shit that feels a little bit different, like I'm not used to the whole like trying to click items and it's not really working very well. Like you your character really needs to be on top of the item and it feels it feels similar to D2, but it just feels like harder. Because D2, like in D2, like you have to be like usually pretty on top of the item to click it, especially if there's like lots of monsters around it or lots of items and shit, but yeah, this one's pretty punishing in that regard. Like, you really need to be precise, and your character movement needs to be on point, so... You feeling lucky? Feeling lucky? Nice, we have a gambler. It wouldn't be a fucking ARPG without a gambler. I eat the vo now, I it we every plead, plead. The gods have long left this right. world. I plead the gods but their memory at least seven times. You comfort. Am I gonna play trade or SF? Um, I, when I get the chance to play online, I don't know. I might do trade. Just for a little bit. So I can like get to end game and experience that like at a higher point. Um, but obviously once I get into speedrunning I'm probably just going to be playing like offline fucking uh, self found. It also depends on the leaderboards too as well because if the leaderboards are competitive enough um, for like self found I might do that too. So. But the downside to this game that I've seen so far with leaderboards is it does seem like there's like Usually, like, one or two specs that are just batshit insane. Oh, yeah. I'm getting confused. One thing's telling me to go here, the other one's telling me to go the other way. Alright, I just have to talk to a door and leave, apparently. I don't know, I'm getting baited by that icon, but it's fine. We gotta go to the last archive. Am I using an AI created face? No. Yeah. I mean, I don't face game much anymore, but I might get into doing it a bit more often. We'll see. We'll see. Just half the time I'm just lazy, man. It's like, just pure laziness. Oh, I see the fucking icons all the way over there. But yeah, what are you, think what are you thinking about, uh, is Are you gonna do trade or SF? I feel like everyone's gonna try trade at least once at some point, like, but I think then, like, the game is probably gonna turn into, like, a big, like, solo, self-found game. Oh, you're doing self-found always, oh, okay. There's, like, multiple different ways of doing self-found as well, right? Like, you can do, like, account self-found and character self-found, are you doing, like, self-found where you can share your stash across your characters, or are you doing like full self-found on like an individual character? Yeah, 
You blame OSRS? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I, I, the only reason why I might consider Trade League for this game in particular is just because um, it seems like it's going to have a good trading community, potentially. I've heard good things, like, but I don't know. It, apparently this is all stuff that I've just heard about 1.0. Like, it's meant to be like a dedicated marketplace and stuff like that. Or like an auction house or something. Oh, the SF faction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that that's something I... I was like watching, um, I think like a leak video or something like that. I don't know if it was a leak video, but there was like some... Someone posted in like the creator discord or whatever. There was like some like Chinese video that was just like covering... There was like 1.0 footage or something like that. I don't know how they were playing it, but yeah. Um, then they like... We're talking about the factions. Yeah, like I was just looking at like the, the captions and it, they were talking about the factions and I was just like... Self-found cap faction? Versus like trade faction or something like that, like auction faction or whatever, market faction. And I was just like, all right, seems like they've got like a thing that you pick like at some point. Oh shit! Oh yeah, I should probably do my passive thing. I said that last time, didn't I? Let's actually do them. I just gotta see where I actually have to go. Looks like the last one is this one down here. Do I have more? I have one on spin point. Another one there. And I think... Actually, I'm just gonna pause. I I didn't even think about the fact that this is fucking pure offline. I can just pause. Seems like I just put the two points into shit that I've already got, which is here and here. Yeah, dude, uh, offline moment. I was thinking to myself. Yo, Heisenberg, how's it going, dude? Thanks for the raid. The camera is on. What were you streaming, dude? Why, why are you not on Last Epoch? You're not on Last Epoch or what? Thanks for the raid, man. Frame buffering strats incoming. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of like, uh... Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be fucked. Holy shit. Speedruns are gonna be insane. I do like it though. Like, as I said, it's... It, they literally kept, like, the core thing that exists in D2. Like, the ability to play online and offline. You had so much stuff to finish and liquidate on D2 hour before tomorrow? Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, you gotta do like the big season prep and stuff. I forget, you guys play ladder. I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be playing ladder tomorrow, but not for long, not for long. Not for long. We're hyped for tomorrow? Yeah, I'm doing that 8-man with Jim and that. So yeah, that'll be fun. Also, you don't really think you need to trade for anything in this? Yeah. The only thing you can see it being useful for is getting uniques quicker if you're sick of farming. Yeah, that's fair. Even the uniques are supposed to make you target farmable. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds good. All this stuff. I'm gonna pick up a silver ring. You be playing Last Epoch at some point? Yeah, nah, this game, this game is fun so far. I've been enjoying it. It feels, the way that I'm going to describe it is it basically feels like a mix between like D2, D4 and like, not a mix, sorry, the in-between. It feels like the in-between of D2, D4 and PoE. Like it's not as in-depth as PoE, you don't need a fucking PhD, but then like, you know, um, you know, you can still like play it and probably be alright at the game, I guess. Yeah, only a PhD in fucking. That's all you need for this game. <laughs> so the question regarding this game, why does, uh, why does a game work with no flaws until you reach a certain point in this game and from that point, just a regular waypoint and the game doesn't work anymore? Wait, what do you mean? Like, are you having issues getting past a certain quest? Like I was? I, I had issues with one of the quests earlier where I was talking to the NPC and she was just saying hmm to me all the time. And I basically had to go back and redo part of the quest. 
I don't know why. Apparently, it was just a known bug that still exists. Panion, still, I please stop him. Yeah, nah. I, 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 I think that this game is really, really good. I think it's gonna be a good game to play, like either on the side or even as a main game. Who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's my D two speedrun killer. Like who knows? Nah, I'll still always speedrun D two, but I have been looking at doing it a little bit more casually this year. You gotta run to work though. No worries, man. Thanks again for the raid. Appreciate it. <laughs> Big fan of your work, man. Thanks for putting out great content. Oh, thanks, Barum. Thank you. Alright, what do we have? Oh, we have charms and shit. Oh, I have idle slots locked. Interesting. Transfer materials. What is this? Idle system. What is this? Oh, hi. Potion converted to ward. That's cool. Mozakai. It has a bit of that odd PoE perspective. Sorry, won't kill D2. It it's not killing D2, but for me it might. <laughs> nothing kill nothing like kills D2, dude. Nothing kills D2. Nothing kills a game that you enjoy. I keep getting baited by this icon every time. But yeah, thank you so much for the six months, Mozakai. For me, it's just like a. It might be my new focus game, if that makes sense. More variety this year would be cool too. I'm hoping to stream a few more games this year. Mix it up a little bit. This is obviously the beginning of all that. <laughs> but like, it's still like an ARPG, you know? Like, it's still an ARPG. I would like to actually stream like real variety games, you know? I want to do some retro at some point too. Warriors Pike. All right, surely I'm like due for a weapon upgrade soon. Retro, just play Lord. Ooh, XP trend. Let's go. All right, I have to kill as much stuff. I say that as I dash into a fucking wall, man. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? That's one- that's one thing about playing a new game, man. It's like you always gotta get used to, like, the new voice lines that are always just gonna get stuck in your fucking head, or the sounds and shit. It's like obviously when you play like D2 and stuff, like the like D2R, like the goats, they just have that ah fucking thing that just gets stuck in your head every time. What up Billy, how you doing man? Stay a while and listen, yeah exactly. Happy you got your world record back. Hope you hit sub 35 soon. Yeah, me too. I will go for it at some point, but it's probably just gonna be something I do casually. Uh, I should probably take a good look at some of these items soon. Comparing items definitely feels really rough. Oh, what the fuck are you? Not happening. Oh, I can't move. Big boy down. Yeah, see, this is the clunkiness that I'm talking about. Like, when you, like, spam click shit. There's got to be an easy way to pick up stuff, right? Is there, is it, like, is any of the guys that have played the game a lot know any way to pick up shit easier? Or am I just stuck being bad at the video game? Whoa, we're going through a hole. Like a... Like a portal hole. All right, let's take a look at some passives and stuff. I'm gonna assume my passive tree is literally just me continuing to put points into that. Yep. So I just keep putting points into this. What about this thing? Puncture, I think it's points into that. 
I'm gonna assume. Yep. The cake is a lie. Is it though? Is it really? Wait a second. Okay, let's go. I noticed the music is like really quiet for me today. But. Sorry, I'm like not used to this man. Like all my streaming stuff is like on different screens at the moment. I kind of just like started stream today and was like, yep, I'm here now. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Why is the entire D2R speedrun community or community playing D2R uh, last Epoch now? It's because it's a good game and people want to try out a good game. What up, Pogo? How you doing, dude? Surely the game lets me through the door now. Where's the armory? I feel like I already went through here. Did I not? Yeah, I did. What the fuck? Maybe I was supposed to go not maybe I wasn't supposed to go through that void thing. Not happening. Uh, how's Last Epoch? Like, D4 still beta? Uh, no, it's a lot better than that, that's for sure. Holy fuck. It's, it's like, sad to say that, isn't it? It's really, really sad to say that. I'm kind of having fun throwing this poison potion, I don't know why dude, it's so satisfying. There's something satisfying about just fucking throwing a poison pot on the ground, whether it does damage or not. Oh, I gotta click, I gotta kill this guy again. Surely, like, some of these bosses are gonna be, like, XP farmable. So I see, like, a bridge here, but it just doesn't let me go across. I don't understand. Why it no let me across? Why? Why you hate me for, game? What the fuck is this Kano face cam? <laughs> you guys are all just so shocked to see my face, yet it's literally out there, dude. It's literally out there. You just have to, like, click on my Twitter once or, like, you know, fucking... Did I go back through the portal? Don't tell me I fucking... I just went back through the portal. I'm so dense. <laughs> I'm so dense, man. <laughs> Didn't take you for a face guy? Yeah, sometimes I'm just a voice. Thought you were an AI. Could be. 
Chat, I think when it's seven, I'm gonna order food. Cause I am too lazy to make anything and I am fucking tired. What am I having? There's this place that does like a really, really nice like burger that has like fucking hash browns and stuff like that on it. Like a breakfast burger. And I want to have one of them right now. I accidentally made the music too loud. Okay, so I have the waypoint now. Where am I supposed to go? Reach the, the armory? Let's click on the waypoint and see where I have to go. I'm in the ancient cabin. Why am I here? Dude, how do I get to the armory? I'm guessing that I probably have to continue through here, which then takes me through back somewhere else. Oh, entering ruined area. Okay, so like I think I go back and forth and there's portals and shit. I'm gonna assume that this portal probably takes me to the portal that's on the other side of that bridge. If it doesn't, well shit. You're imagining me like a crocodile dandy guy with a big knife. I'm sorry to... Sorry to ruin that image for you. A crocodile dandy guy's here. Even though I know you mean Dundee, but... We're in the armory. Oh, thanks, Cesaric. Not happening. I'm gonna guess I can't break through unless I complete this area or something. I will say the game doesn't give the best of like tutorial system. I mean, okay, sorry. It doesn't give the best tutorial system in terms of like questing at least. I think there's a lot of guide stuff for sure. There's a lot of tutorial stuff for everything else. But... I didn't even know there was a referral thing. Hey, Grishnik. <laughs> Imagine- oh my god, that's gonna be terrifying in the future. Like, if there's a boss that actually does that and can kill you with it. I wouldn't be surprised, man. Games like that do this type of shit. Hey, Yennefer. Thank you, thank you. Mm, I think we want this. Increased physical damage, chance to poison on hit. Wait, oh, this is an idol. I can't put it in yet. I suppose I'll hold on to it. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, maybe it's time to give up the humming bee, unfortunately. I wish I could see, like, a stats page. Wait, hold on. Whoa, what did I just change? I changed that back some. I 
I guess I just always have to check that tooltip if I ever want to see if I'm dealing more damage. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Yo, Black Orchestra, thank you so much for the four months of Prime. Appreciate the support. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> what game is this? This is uh, uh Last Epoch. The it the game the game name is listed below. The title gets confusing sometimes, but yes. Dota two. Yeah, we're playing Dota right now. These are my minions, actually. I'm currently denying my creeps. It's been so long since I played Dota, man. Whoa, shit. Chill. Dealing elemental damage, but what do I have on my own? Gods, Etero, watch over you. How are we doing today? I'm not too bad. How are you? Oh, no, no, no. I, I know you weren't meaning to make me feel bad or anything. I was just messing with you. And thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. No, I was just messing back. <laughs> Stay back. I mean, even if you meant harm, I wouldn't be too worried. This guy seems a little bit demonic, doesn't he? Like, he doesn't seem like a very nice guy. Holy shit, what is all this shit? Whoa, that- okay, don't go into whatever that is. Note to self. Not happening. Whoa, okay, I see now. I see, I see, I see. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> Every time, man. Shame. What a shame. But it's done is done. Might have to drop something. No, not the dropping of things. Wait, never mind. We're good. Time to pick up the shard. What's up, Xmos? First time you see me on camera? Hello, nice to meet you. It is I. What level am I? Uh, it says at the bottom, I think I'm 14. It's like all the way at the bottom to the left of my XP bar, like down here somewhere. You always thought I was a girl. Really now. Really now. Go. 
Guys, I hate to break it to you, but I'm gonna sell some items. Hmm. Shop. Whoa, why does that happen? I think that was my big damage weapon. Yep. Yep, yep, yippers. It sure was. Unless one of these other ones is doing more damage. It's so hard for me to tell what's doing more damage, because... It seems like everything has, like, the same base type, but you have to pay attention to, like, the affixes and suffixes and shit. Yeah, it's not the first time I've been on cam. Not the first time mm -hmm. I've been on cam. So I gotta shift right click. I think this unironically might be better. So tired. Ward gained on potion use. Holy fuck, that's a lot. But I still like the physical damage. I don't know why, I'm just a sucker for more damage. I like damage. What's your take on the items so far? Too easy like D4 or cool like D2? Um, It's kind of closer to PoE and I don't know. They're like, they keep things pretty simple. Like, Obviously, you know, plus 10 health is plus 10 health, but yeah. Number go up, yeah, exactly, number go up. Usually a good sign. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, like, in general, it seems like the items are very simple, but I think the crafting system probably gets very complex. So. At least that's my understanding of it. Like, fucking, like, slamming the items together or whatever the fuck it was that people were talking about. Just, like, sounds crazy. Oh, shit, that bell had a lot of physical damage on it. Oh, well, whatever. Wait, let me see. Oh, I just had necrotic damage. Physical resistance? Oh, it requires level 16 there. Can't equip it. We need more movement speed. That's the one rule that I've always learnt in these video games. More movement speed equals gooder. I'm just kind of reading stats and getting like a feel for like what to look at. The curious thing that I have about this is whether or not, like, all the affixes and suffixes are in the same, like, order and stuff. Or if it kind of randomizes like D4 did. Because I know that's something that D4 did and I fucking hated it, but... I'm pretty sure, like, there's gonna be a lot of things that just sort of default to certain positions. Like, for example, most of the time, on, like, these offhands or whatever it is, like, resistances are probably gonna be at the bottom. A certain type of thing is gonna be at the top, and all that kind of shit. So hopefully it stays the same. I'm gonna keep whatever this is, because this was a cool item. I like it. It's called a humming bee. Take care. Alright, where do we go now? Apparently I have to talk to people. You seem a little this he might be kind enough to show you how to tap into your true potential. <laughs> do I have to talk to the tree? Is that what's going on? Enter the time rift. You seem a little disappointed. Is this the time rift? First time here. Why is it flashing? You seem a little dis this he I am a little disoriented, okay? I'm a new player, chill. Ooh, stash tab. Oh. Alright, perfect. Not sure on it, uh, but you think it does randomize from the bit that you played, at least within prefixes and suffixes? Ah, okay. I see, I see. Welcome in, Jasper. This is the first time I'm actually watching your stream. Most of the time, you're just watching my speedruns. Ah, like on YouTube, I see, I see. Cool. Welcome in. I am live on YouTube at the moment too as well, though, so yeah. What's up, Maxwell? Uh, why can't I click the thing though? Is it like because of an upstairs thing? Pretty cool. Everything's just shiny. I like it. What brings you here? May oh, I see staircase. Right, travels. I'm blind. Stairs. Who would have guessed it was that simple? I thought there was another waypoint up here for some reason. You've then close your eyes 
All right, we're blade dancing. Focus on the potential you wish to wield as I guide the shades to you. Passive bonuses, max shadows. Melee physical damage, more dodge rating. Awesome. And we unlock the skill Dancing Strikes. I can't wait to actually get into that OP build. I don't know if it's still OP. I did hear rumors that they nerfed it in 1.0, but yeah. But yeah. Choosing mastery class is final and cannot be changed or undone. Wow. Wasn't wasn't it Jenga who was saying to fucking DJ in my Discord saying that yeah you can like unspec from a from a class or some shit like that? I think that was that was what DJ was getting confused about. I see the You never said that? I swear that's what I read. You. That strength will be necessary if our world all right, so how does this shit work? Now that I'm up to Blade Dancer. Because is the, like, endgame build, like... Is the endgame build, um... Essentially, fucking... I, I don't know if I follow the endgame build or if I follow the leveling build still. Oh, it still uses Umbral Blades anyway, though. What the fuck, throwback? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this playlist just has, like, a little like a little bit of everything when it comes to drum and bass. Your kid was watching for a second, she was like, Oh, I've never seen Kenny before, looks nice. But does he have a moose drinking coke behind him? Uh... He's not drinking coke, but like, kinda, I guess, like, so that's a, that's a moose, like a little moose that has like Vancouver on it or something like that. And uh, that is the coke that I got from TwitchCon 2017 that has my name on it. <laughs> so, yeah. You've been listening to old 2000s rock? Oh, damn. Yeah, no, that's uh. There's a lot of, like, songs and playlists and shit that are just, like, super throwback, but yeah. You still have that bottle as well? Yeah, nah. I just, like, I've taken it everywhere I've gone, man. I've moved, like, three times recently, and, like, it's still just come along for the ride. It made it back in a fucking suitcase <laughs> from America to Australia. So if it can survive that, it can survive anything, man. Yeah, I've been enjoying this so far, Soul. Soul's phone. This mastery is really fun. You're playing pl playing it pre-launch. I see. All right. Um. Yeah. I need to kind of like understand what I'm doing though. So like, should I transition into the end game build or the leveling build? That's my main question. Maybe I should read that. Endgame build be post axe. It seems like this leveling build still like does umbral blades into shadow daggers anyway. Like it says that it says final setup. You need to equip a, equip a dagger for this setup to work. Uh okay. I'm gonna have to switch back to daggers soon. As soon as I get another one, I guess I'll stay puncture temporarily. But what's the other thing that I'm looking at? I think that just goes there, and passive points, uh... Okay. Ah, okay. Usually go into early monoliths, okay, cool. How long does the campaign actually take to beat in this game? May Etera guide your travels. Council Chambers? Sub two hours if you're a beast, apparently. Sounds about right. That'll probably be what I get it down to eventually. Knowing me, I'll find a way to get it down, like, quite a lot. 
I think I saw that they patched one thing that Tai Tai Killer mentioned. He was, um... There's like a boss that you fight at the start. I think it's like one of the first ones that has like a waypoint directly behind it, but you can't access it. I think he was able to touch the waypoint, die to the boss, and then you can skip the boss. <laughs> like, it was fucked. I don't know if that was just a like a thing that he was doing just for that one specific um, patch, but like, if it's already been patched, that's kind of funny. Considering like some of the other shit that exists. Not happening. Alright, where do we have to go? We have to go to the surface. I do definitely want to give some of the other like classes and specs a try though. And I like I think when I'm done streaming I'm actually gonna take like a proper look at like some of the skills and just read them rather than like do something with them. Cause I think it would just be a good thing for me to sort of familiarize myself with the game, but like not play too much of it. I still do want to kinda of do like this first playthrough like on stream for the most part. But we'll see. Maybe I'll play offline a bit. Fuck around on another character or something. But yeah, basically we need a dagger. That's the thing that I've learned recently. Not happening. This guy seems pretty angry. Yo, Elite Forfair! You do look like the Amazon after all. Yeah, exactly like the Amazon. Splitting image, am I right? Thanks for the $5 super chat, man. Good morning, by the way. It's fucking early. Rise and shine, it's a nice 6.30 in the morning for you, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, why is this guy angry? What's he doing? The one thing I do like about this uh, this game so far is that it actually feels like it like offers like a good layer of challenge. I think like obviously if you're very casual, like when it comes to these games, you'll like you'll probably fight like this amount of monsters and just be like, yeah, that's okay. Like you'll probably just stand here and just be like, yep, I'm, I'm having a good time. But then obviously, you know, if you're like a sweaty ARPG player where you just sort of like want to fucking kill shit or like kill a bunch of things as efficiently as possible, you probably like s skip forward and then like a, a bunch of things chasing you and attacking you and fucking, you know, between getting like stunned, rooted and having to dodge shits. Um, ooh. that was a weird. Pause. Anyway. Wait, you can pause during a loading screen? What the fuck? Okay, anyway, going on. Um, I was gonna say, like, basically, it seems like, yeah, um, a lot of, like, when you're getting chased down by a lot of shit and being attacked by a lot of shit, it seems like it actually does, like, a decent chunk of damage. But, like, I think, like, casual players, for example, would be happy to just be like, oh, let me kill this and this, and then, like, move on and be like, alright, let me kill these guys. But like for me, I'm just like, alright, let's group up as much shit as possible and just see if we survive, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> What's up, Nair? It's nice to have a face to the name now. Yeah. I'm still shocked that so many of you guys haven't seen me yet. Like, I have clips on my, my, my Twitch and stuff, you know? Like, some of my featured clips, like, have my face. You ever just laugh like that, dude? Like, I seriously have some days where I wake up and I just laugh like that. Like that maniacal laugh laughter. <laughs> happens to all of us, doesn't it? It really does, doesn't it? I don't know if you want to play Last Epoch or Sleep. Do both. Play it in your sleep. Wait, where am I? Am I at? I'm at the Forsaken Trail. Okay. Wait, do I not already have... Oh, I don't have the Cultist Camp. Waypoint's locked. Not happening. This poison potion is way too satisfying. Not happening. Not happening. 
Wait, what hat do I even have on right now? Could probably use some resistances. Not happening. Oh, chill. Whoa, chill with that. Fucking hell, dude. I was expecting it at some point. Those guys are fucking scary. Are you like following guide on how to build? Where did you get the guide? Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm using guide at the moment. I'm using a uh, Maxwell guide. <coughs> I think that's the leveling and the end game build there. Not happening. I had an experience trying here the entire fucking time. You guys know how it goes. If you die to it once and you you don't succeed, fucking try it again. Until you don't die. Got to pick a class and start leveling. Yeah, I think um, from what I've heard, this build is like probably one of the one of the more OP ones, but. It might have also got nerfed in 1.0, so I'm not 100% sure. Bro, when they do the big slam, that's fucking terrifying. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? They like full on fucking like body slam. Increased mana, increased armor. I think armor is good in this game. Like from what I heard, it kind of, like, does mostly physical, um, mostly physical. It kind of works like how, like, army works in D4, I think. Where it does mostly physical, but, like, half of it is, like, applied to resistances or something. Or, like, other element types. I don't know if that's 100% true, but that's what I think my understanding was when I was briefly looking up some shit. Yeah, I probably should sit down and put some points into shit and stuff and things. I'm getting slowed. Help. I'm about to fucking die here, just saying. <laughs> I know as soon as I got back to that corner with no dash. I think I actually had dash up, but I think I was just like... ...being silly. I've heard that there is controller. There is controller support. Like I think when you when you open the game it like prompts if you have a controller or something. Maybe not. Probably if you probably if you have one plugged in, I think. There's definitely gotta be a better way to picking up items, man. Sometimes like you just like I I click that like four times and it still just somehow like pars me over it. I will say though, I'm looking forward to actually potentially hardcore speedrunning this game too. Not happening. Because I think hardcore will actually be like a real challenge. This is Pee Wee. It's kind of close. Not quite, but it's got some similarities.
Have fun in the new game, testing the limits as always. Yeah. Kinda. Not really, but kinda. Alright, let's take a moment to take a look at the build and stuff. So it's time for me to get Umbral Blades. I need to make sure I got the dagger on. I don't know if I need two daggers. Can you equip two? No, you can only equip one. Which one's better? This one seems better. Oh, poison damage is interesting though. Does, uh... Oh, I'm doing shadow damage though, I think. Melee damage leech does health, increase cast speed, chance to bleed on hit. Chance to bleed on hit is pretty good. The melee damage leech does health is gonna be fucking sick though. Damage reflected to attackers. Dude, fucking Slovenius needs to get in on this. Some pacifist runs, dude. Thorns. Yeah, dude, there's people in D2 that fucking, like, literally try and speedrun the game with just thorns only. It's fucked. I don't understand how they do it. Dodge rating. I do like me some dodge rating. Suppose I'll put that in while I can. Alright, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the spec stuff. Alright, um... It seems like the passive tree is mostly the same. Yeah, it's mostly the same. I'm still supposed to just go evasion. Damage taken while moving and increased dodge rating. Oh, that's cool actually. <clears throat> I think the only downside to a lot of these skill trees that they have is that like more often than not, there's always just gonna be like one optimal path for a lot of this shit. Like, they always try to go, like, super in-depth, but I think, obviously, with small tweaks and stuff, they can obviously make a lot of different things viable. But I, I don't doubt that the skill system gets a lot more, like, crazy. Like, this is just passives, right? Like, the skill system itself looks fucking crazy. Like, the fact that there's so many different paths that you can take and all this shit. It's pretty nice. But, uh, let's see. Where do we start with this one? Umbral Blades goes this way, this way. So basically, I go here, 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 apparently. Inflict Shadow Dagger with Dagger. Are we up to that point? Are we actually already up to Shadow Dagger? That's awesome. If so. Big if true. Uh, apparently I'm supposed to go back here. I think that makes sense. And then over to here afterwards. You leave a shadow behind. Ooh. The shadow actually could have been better there. I kind of hate that you can't, like, undo, like, the abilities really quick. Like, you know how, like, PoE has, like, a confirm system? I wish they had that in this. That's fine. Greetings. It's not a big deal. Farewell. This means you just got to be a little bit more careful about what you actually do put in and whatnot. Who are you? Who are you? What's up, Diego? Uh, unfortunately, I don't speak that language. Can you please keep the chat in English? Thank you. Oh shit, uh, it helps if you put it on your bar, Kano. Holy damage. We're fucking gaming? Oh, I see how this works. Oh, oh no, that's not okay. This is unethical. Dude, this is unethical. I put two daggers out and fucking recall them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's literally Zaya. <laughs> Yo, what is this guy? Chill. Chill, my guy. There's another there's another build um 
It works like Rogue in D4. Well, not quite. It's it's better, honestly. Like, I think Rogue in D4, in comparison, kind of sucks. I think, like, you actually have to stab the target. Like, you have to go up and stab the target, and then you can pull the blades off of them to other targets. Whereas with this one, you just fucking shoot it wherever you want. This is nuts. Humble Blades is what you're gonna play with Django if you kept playing. You mean like today or like oh fuck. Or like when you guys were like messing around in like pre-launch. Yeah. Makes sense. Nah, this build's fucked. This build's fucked, I can already see it. I've I've seen the spinning version of this, like I saw oh wait, I need to go to the right point actually. Happening. I've seen the spinning version of this, but it's so fucked. Alright, now we're gaming. We've literally unlocked gamer. Gamer status. Not happening. cool interactions with shuriken yeah i was gonna say when i first started playing with shuriken like in the beginning like i was just like damn this feels fun like shooting this shit felt fun but yeah i'm obviously just gonna have to like mess around with a bunch of different specs i wouldn't be surprised if things haven't been like fully developed but yeah there's probably like minor tweaks that like cater to each playstyle and stuff you know like for me and that's something I've always noticed about certain um, ARPGs. It's always like, especially in speedrunning, it's like there's always like minor tweaks that you as a speedrunner can make that will make it better for you. Like, let's say for example, maybe maybe you could deal more damage, but like you could deal more damage in like a short succession. But if you were to like obviously round up monsters, you deal more damage over time if you do it slower, if that makes sense. There's like shit like that that kind of exists like for me when it comes to like trying to like figure out what I want to do with speedrunning like I I don't go that in depth with theory crafting but sometimes I kind of just do whatever like feels best based off of like other builds that people have proposed and stuff that seem really, really good like most of the time I'll always just like see a build and try and just do it a little bit better or tweak it a little bit to my own to my own liking Fuck, man I really gotta sit up straight dude my back is like I'm dying. Alright, we have like shit to do here and shit to do back there and shit to do- Oh my god, chill. Alright. Let's take a look. We need that there. Where do we go with Umber Blades now? This thing? Blades in the ground now create Blade Storm. Oh, we're up to this point. We're up to this point, boys. <laughs> nah, that's not cool. Maybe we should get to that in PoE, but you know, that's smart. PoE is way harder to do it, to be fair. I cannot do that kind of thing, PoE. I'm much better with simple games like D2 and D4. But, yeah. And even then, there's like still not that much tweaking in those games. It's more like just doing things a certain way. Yeah, I'm look. I'm like. I'm actually like excited to try and speed run this. This feels fun. Like this build already feels really fun. And I never thought that I'd be playing rogue. I usually play like mage in these games. But yeah. To my knowledge, it seems like the build kind of works like this, where you just sort of like, whoa, shit, chill. You like leave the shadow dagger out and just let it kill stuff as you run and run it all into it. That's kind of my understanding of how this build works. I do like the idea of like actually shooting it and recasting it and stuff, but... The one thing I don't like about this build right now is that it does have like a range, a range thing. Like you can't like... You can't choose exactly where it goes, like they have to go a certain range. Maybe that's a passive that changes it, but... 
like maybe there's a passive that makes it so that you can choose where they go on the floor, but to my knowledge, like for example, you kind of have to like shoot one forward, shoot one back, pull pull it into it, shoot one forward, shoot one back. Not happening. Nah. I'm definitely not playing this build like as optimal as you could, but it's all just going to take some getting used to. It's a bit like, a bit clunky. Congrats on the Soul Quad record. Was fun to watch. Thanks, Mike. Yo, what am I doing here? Not happening. Oh. Awesome. We did something with the Soul Repositories. Not happening. Take it easy, Lila. Who Have are a good you? Night. Sleep well. Go on. Who are you? Who are you? Go on. <laughs> okay. This fucking guy. <laughs> His coke drinking moose. <laughs> Guys, you need to chill. The moose. He's he's just chilling. He's just chilling, man. <laughs> I've got a few things in the background that are actually kind of cool. There's the uh, that thing there is the um, fucking the soul stone thing that we got from uh, like the D two R ladder launch. I think it was. It lights up, but I don't think I have batteries in it right now, so <laughs> I don't know if I can turn it on. My Widowmaker statue is also sitting above my head, actually. <laughs> it's just out of the frame. You wanna know the best part about the Widowmaker statue is that I don't even fucking play Widowmaker in Overwatch. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die here. Alright, we're good, never mind. Passives. Uh, what am I doing now with passives? Let's see. Twin blade. You can dual wield melee weapons! Awesome. I'm gonna assume that means I deal more damage now if I do that. Pognali. Wait, does it? Seems like it, but not much. Gotta love the fucking three head voice acting in this game, man. You fucking cannot hide, mate. Fucking in it. Nice. This is a white square. Mm. Increased chance to find potions is kind of cool still. I should probably keep that. Increased crit chance is interesting, but I don't know how it works. I don't know, like, what- that's- that's something I'm gonna have to look into, like, the crit- crit chance stuff. Because crit is always weird in games like this. Like, PoE has, like, the most confusing fucking crit system to me at first, but it makes sense, like, after some time. Very cool. I see you got past that. Mmm. Yeah, the hmm? Hmm? Yeah, the hmm girl. Yeah, I got past her. We successfully dodged the hmm girl. Where am I supposed to 
supposed to go next? There. What does this do? Umber blades now stop if they reach a target location. This is literally what I was talking about, wasn't it? That's- <laughs> that is literally what I was fucking talking about. I was like, yeah, surely there's a passive that does that. <laughs> of course. How does the dash work with it though? That's the thing I'm confused about. I'm not seeing the visual on the dash. Like, where am I getting free from? But yeah, no, this build still seems a bit insane. I won't lie. else I'm supposed to do here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Let's go back to the cultist camp. Who's that handsome fellow in the bottom left? That'd be me, Michael. Or I guess technically if you go even further bottom left then that's Twitch chat. Hmm? So maybe you mean Twitch chat. Farewell. Where am I supposed to go next? Ritual grounds. Ah, it's literally right here. Ritual grounds. I have no idea, Pastry. <laughs> Can't it just be as simple as crit, crit strike chance equals crit strike chance? <laughs> Whenever they introduce like multipliers and stuff, that's when shit gets confusing. But I actually yes. wouldn't be surprised if it is just like that in this game. Speaking of which, we did find this. Which one gives me more damage? I lose damage there. Got some fucking lock on. That's crazy. Not happening. Of course it was Twitch chat. <laughs> yep, there is a Kano face. I know it's 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 hard to hard to believe. Okay, so what confuses me is that now that I've mastered this, I guess I go into Blade Dancer? So now we're Blade Dancering? Is that how it goes? Yeah, we're Blade Dancering. Cool. Oh, we're literally putting five points into Pursuit. Easy. Nothing else there. Yeah, at some point, like, all this shit's gonna become, like, muscle memory to me, I guess, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. Congrats on the new world record, by the way. Thank you, man. Why are they always laughing? What's funny? I don't get it. No one fucking told any jokes here. Seriously, the laughter. Now that everybody has noticed Kano's face, he'll never show face again. It's so true, dude. You won't see me face cam for another year. Not happening. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll probably face cam tomorrow too, because of the ladder launch. Speaking of which, I gotta like. I guess the one good thing about the ladder launch is because I'm so fucking tired today, I'm going to actually hopefully have a good sleep. Like, 
I'd like to believe that I'm actually gonna have a good save. Not happening. Uh, we need to see what's my next skill. My next skill is smoke bomb. And on smoke bomb. On smoke bomb, we need this and this. And passives, we go there. What's up, Shambles? Hey, it's also here. Tomorrow's gonna be epic. <laughs> Two up for the win. Yeah, we're gonna be doing an eight man with Jim and all that. I'm gonna be playing the most boring and brain dead role, and it's gonna be very laggy, but. It's okay. Not I'm doing it for the boys. I really wish I'd known that Last Epoch was going to be before, because if I'd known that it was going to launch before, I thought Last Epoch was the 23rd, right? I was getting the dates confused. And if I'd known that Last Epoch was the 23rd, I would have probably pulled out of the 8-man, honestly. But, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, don't tell me I have to fucking go through, like, one of those, uh, things. Like the portal back there. So like, why was that so hard? Come on, come on, game. Not happening. Being able to actually, like, choose where you want these blades to go is so fucking insane, by the way, just saying. Alright, now we're actually gaming. Chance to believe a shurikens. That's kind of cool, but unfortunately, no bueno. Should give me. Grants you haste while you remain inside it. What does haste do? I'm gonna assume haste just increased my attack speed or something like that. Oh wait, I just realized I saw the chest over here. Kinda reminds me of Bale laughing. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, them laughing definitely does make me feel like that as well. Not happening. Mighty male! Pretty cool name. Pretty cool name for a thing. Not happening. I will say, I think I've realized what the crafting system is now. When I see all these shards, I think these are like... Are these shards that you can use to like apply like a specific mod to an item? Like for example, when you see like physical resistance shard, it's like... You get so many of these shards and it gives you like a chance to like roll that type or something. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just being silly. Not Holy good. fuck, man. What are we fu We're fucking decimating this gun. Literally. Not happening. Anyway. Add or upgrade? Yeah. Seems like it. That's kinda cool. Borpa? 
Yeah, we got Borpa. Been watching Alkaiser? No, I've just been watching the streams, Temple dude. Of the or at least it used to be. I just mean leash. I doubt anything valuable is left. Alright, where are we going on number blades? Done precision cuts. What's next? It's this thing here. Armor blades deal more damage, multiplicative with other modifiers. Multiplicative is always good chat. Whenever you hear the word multiplicative, get happy. Um, per stack of dust shroud on you. This effect is doubled while inside the area of smoke bomb. That's insane. Just saying. Anyway, carrying on. Oh wait, no, hold on, I need to do these. Where do we go next? Next is this one. And smoke bomb needs... what else does it need? It needs three onto the duration. Wait, no, no it doesn't. Smoke bomb goes five here. Okay. You disappointed I don't have buses? I'll think about it. I know if I had too many sussy emotes, you guys are gonna use them all the time. That's that problem. It's me, Nom. How's it going? Nice, yeah, I got one. We're rich now. Helmet? Why did that come up like that? Oh, it's fucking green. Oh, green's a set item, that's right. Health regen, void resistance, endurance, threshold. Also told enemies nearby when you stand, stand near an enemy. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it ain't for me, probably. I think it's a druid thing. Water shrine. Water. Glyph of chaos. Oh shit. We just got a fucking chaos shard. It's PoE. It's PoE. Can I mark items as junk on there? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna have to remember. Have to use brain power. When do we get more idle shards? Uh, idle things, by the way. What's up, Korean American barbecue? Thanks for the good look. Hey, like in the game so far, it's fun, man. And this build especially. And it's been challenging. Like I've died like four times already, and I'm like not even to shit that like just felt too bullshit, you know? Like it just felt like my own like stupidity, I guess. I'm gonna tell you guys something that makes me really, really self-conscious about being on cam, and most of you probably didn't even notice until I mention it. It doesn't make me really self-conscious, but it's something that I'm consciously aware of sometimes. Because it happens and I think about it. But like, there's this old clip of mine when I was playing PUBG. And like... Side quests? Wait, what? In the game, you mean? Oh, is that one of the side quests down there? Fuck. Oh, for idle slots and passive points. Okay, good, cool. Right. Um, yeah, so the thing about the camera stuff is like, when I was playing PUBG like a long time ago, there's like an old clip of mine where like, I'm like fucking like head moving and shit, like to dodge. Like, like I'm like IRL dodging, like. <laughs> and I just like thought about how the fact that there's so many games where I'll do that shit. It's like if I have to try and dodge something, sometimes I'll be like... <laughs> it's so silly, man. Yeah, literally, literally like that fucking emote. Wait, hold on. Did I grab waypoint? Am I brain damaged? Well, we grabbed it now. Can we all do that? 
I think we all do that without realizing. I don't know if we all actually do that. What does it say? Find one of the missing parts of the bridge so the bridge can be reactivated. Okay. I will do that. Immersive gameplay? I mean, it do be like that sometimes. You do that in every game? Okay, good. I'm glad to, I'm glad to know I'm not alone. But now it kind of happened before. Like, it wasn't like super over the top, but it was just like it kind of happened before and I thought about it and I was like, oh shit. Here we go again. But nah, to be fair, sometimes I'm just also like bad posture and lazy. Sometimes I'm like stretching my neck or fucking whatever. Not happening. Easy. And not just the head, your whole body's involved. You're like fucking flailing your arms. You're not even playing the game anymore. <laughs> You're just like immersed. Not happening. You have to lean to get extra dodge powers. Yeah, I mean dodging IRL counts as dodge chance, like in you know, We all know that. We all know if you lean your character, if you lean your body, your character will dodge faster. Your car will turn harder. Oh my god, yeah, no, the car, the car turning harder one's definitely a feel. Car turning harder is a big feel. I'll just put in the shards. I'll put in the hard shards. I'll shot. <sighs> Alright. Now that I'm putting in the hard shots, um, let's see, what are we doing? Umbral Remnant. This one. Shadows drop umbrals. Interesting. Uh, smoke bomb. What am I doing here? I think it's just still into smoke blades, right? Yep, still into smoke blades and passive here. I'm pretty sure it's just fucking. It's pursuit. Wait. Pursuit 5. And after Pursuit, I start putting points into this thing. Once. I start putting points into once. Yeah, this is me, dude. I know it's crazy, in it? Holy shit, I just put the fucking shard in. <laughs> Lava uses Pete Davidson VTuber. Fucking hell, man. That was close. I think I heard the one guy who said he looks like Pete Davidson, and from that point onwards, everyone in his chat just started saying he looks like Pete Davidson. Not happening. Like, I'm pretty sure I was there for the like the birth of that. Wait, this thing looks fucking sick. Mighty male, why aren't you on me? I have a feeling I'm going the wrong way, but it's okay. Not 
that one. This build is so fucking insane. I love it. It feels a little unethical though, I'm not gonna lie. Not happening. Like, I feel like either every other build needs to play like this, or this build needs to be toned down. And to be honest, I think it probably needs to be toned down a bit. My game just dropped to like 10 FPS. Hey man. I went around all the way for nothing. Just for the game to be like, reactivate the bridge. Like, can you- oh yeah, you can actually travel. I keep clicking on the actual waypoint itself, thinking like, oh yeah. Reactivate the bridge, Devilis. Alright, I'm bridging. You missed the offshoot of where you were meant to go? What? For what? For side quest or what? For side quest? I think I missed it. This thing? Oh wait, no, this that's in the ruins of War Room. I've already been there, haven't I? Easy! Oh bro, don't tell me. <laughs> no. Not like this. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I hate this. <laughs> I have to redo it all. Anyway. It's fine. It was all for XP, right? you're looking at D3 for a second. Nah, this doesn't look anything like D3 to me. D3 is way, way more like colorful. Holy shit, we are like way too overleveled right now. I'm literally just gonna run through. I have no reason to be here still. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. Oh god, I was so scared my fucking sound thing was gonna happen again. When that happened, I was just like, what the fuck? That was scary, man. I ain't gonna lie. Increase movement speed, increase armor. I'm- I'm awoke. I'm a- I want attunement. What the fuck is an attunement? Someone's gonna have to tell me what the fuck an attunement is right now. How much is this game? Uh, it's like- Depends on the edition you want to get, but yeah, it's like 30 to 40 bucks. If you do plan on getting it, I have a Nexus. If you purchase it through there, it'll help support me and them. You're attuned for Molten Core, fucking hell, dude. Did I bug myself again, dude? Like, something feels like it's going wrong here. Can you only travel if you're at a waypoint? I'm gonna assume you can actually only travel if you're at a waypoint. Oh, okay, apparently you can travel to the other place, but not the one that you're at. Interesting. Stop fucking laughing, mate. Nothing's funny. Looks a lot like D3. I still don't see it. Hey, Bijou. 
not happening. Wait, the bridge is working again. Wait, it's not working. I'm so confused. Why is the bridge half working? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop. Posture check? Okay, fine. You got me. You got me. Not happening. Thank you, I need to that. I'm not gonna lie, you don't know what's happened to me. I'm pretty sure I've just bugged my game again. I'm pretty good at that, aren't I? Not happening. Bro, that guy's got fucking, like... He's got fucking aimbot. It's literally unplayable. Not happening. Might have to drop something. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that for it. Might have to drop something. Uh, I'm gonna go back to a town and then I'm gonna probably Might like reload the game something. entirely. Might have to drop something. <sighs> Fucking hell. really making me like oh god it's like I don't know why like my shoulders just hurt so much like it's so bad I need this posture check like I need it big time but it's just like holy fuck it's like hard to actually like sit up straight right now I don't know why also the sun is coming up which means it's gonna get fucking warm soon Uh, let's put this in there. Whatever the hell this is. Ah, no. Wait, what did I just do? Who is that and why isn't this Diablo? It is me and uh, Last Epoch just launched today. It is only. But yeah, this is basically a new, um, new Diablo style game. Holy shit, that amulet's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like, I'm pretty sure I just got, like, a big DPS increase. Let's have a look. Never mind, it literally said 8 damage. Uh, 2 damage or something. It's probably more than that, but we'll see. Uh, I think the rest of this shit, honestly, I just sell, like... My brain is not working enough to figure out what gives me more damage or not. Compare items, maybe? Wait, increase melee damage, melee void damage. Chance to chill and hit. This is actually a pretty good weapon. I wonder if it takes, like, added void damage and stuff like that into the calculations. I feel like it doesn't. So I'm curious. That doesn't change anything, like, surely. Yeah, that that wouldn't make sense. Alright, let's see, what do we have gloves-wise? Oh yeah, we've got the Mighty Male Witcherlin. Wait, do we want crit chance, though? This is last Deepok. Yeah, last Diablo Pok. Do you know if ever, uh, if you load everyone else's stash tabs upon meeting them? I don't think it works like Diablo 4, no. I don't think it works that way. Thankfully. Fucking hell. Imagine, man. So stupid that they did it like that. Wait, what is this? When did I get this? This looks insane. This thing looks insane at least. Chance to gain dust shroud when you use melee attack that hits. I don't even care if this says I get more damage from I'm... <laughs> I get more damage from it, that's for sure. Whatever the fuck I just did, it just gave me more damage. What about this one? Wait, do I- just, I just have two of them. Why do I have two of them? <coughs> Which faction did you choose? I don't think I'm up to that point. 
Or, I don't know, maybe I don't know how to be up to that point. The forge. Wait, can I put stuff in here and like forge for free? No, I can't. Fucking hell. That sucks. Give me that back. Alright, I gotta go to a real town. Where's a real town? Kano's duping? Sorry. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to dupe. I didn't mean it. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, I'm really terribly sorry. Yes. Uh, shop. Whoa, stop doing that. I didn't check that armor at all. It's fine. I'm just gonna hope that this is all trash, because if it isn't, then I'm gonna cry. I'm selling it until I know what to do, but yeah. Alright, all good. Follow your feet. Oh, there's my stash. Imagine them being smart about making shit in town, like armor vendor right next to a stash. Perfect. Alright, I need to figure out what the hell's going on with my game. Attainment is a stat. Oh, one attainment. Each attainment point grants two mana and improves skills that rely on innate magic damage. Aww. Surge. It's okay. It's okay. I need water. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Billy? Yeah, man. I've been on camera before. Many times. Alright, let's see if I can actually make it in here somehow. If I can't, I'm gonna try reload, and if I can't do it then, then I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to probably go from the previous zone and walk forward from there. I'm gonna... I have a feeling I can't make it in. It's gotta be locked off, surely. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, that's all it took? <laughs> Sivis, chill, dude, chill. Guys, I'm a person, okay? Oh, it's hard to believe. Oh shit, wait. Oh, no, I just remembered. Uh, passive points. There. The reality is I should probably just put this build guide up on this page, and then we're all good. Where did I go last time I'm born? I think I'm up to the point where I go over here. Whoa. That's scary. But am I a person? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. When in doubt, try it. That's so true. Sometimes you just have to try. We're fucking schmoovin', I love it. Yeah, let's take a look at this shit again. And smoke bomb, what am I supposed to do here? I need to sneeze. I think. Do I? <coughs> <sighs> 
Oh good. Oh good. Um, let's see. Thank you. What class am I? Uh, I'm playing um, rogue blade dancer. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm like pretty new to this shit. But uh, if you want to see the build, the build guide is here. I'm following the leveling one at the moment. What's for? What's for Kano's guide to last epoch in brackets 2025? Dude, can we fucking chill about last epoch guides, okay? Let me finish the D2 guide first and then we'll get to last epoch guides, okay? <laughs> Guys are so troll sometimes, man, I swear. I'm just trying to have a good time. Alright, uh, where the fuck am I going? The end of ruin. Oh shit, that's deep, dude. Wait, I can't pick up this mask of life, hello? Someone say the guide. This area looks a lot like D3 Act 4. Uh, yeah, actually it kind of does. I agree. It kind of does. I just feel like I'm doing way too much fucking damage, man. It's insane. After way too much. Alone. Press any button to skip. I like how, like, a single mouse click, dude. A single fucking mouse click is enough to skip that cutscene, by the way. They really, like... <laughs> they really didn't want you to watch the cutscenes. <laughs> nah, I mean, like, they probably did, but, like, yeah. I believe okay. we have identified the seek out the outcast leader of I don't even know if I'm supposed to go here, but I'm just going here. Stopping OP? I'm following a guide, man. The guide is OP. I do want to try out some other builds though. I think there could be some pretty cool stuff going on. Yeah, we got a moose sipping on coke in the back. There. I'm up to chapter four. I don't know if that's far. How many chapters are there in this game? Jenga, Aza, anyone? Yes. Nine. Be well. Mm. Nine. Yes, I see. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, when I said 9 like that, I was like, that's immediately what went in my head. Oh, I'm like way too over level for this shit. I'm gonna keep blasting. I'm just gonna run. I'm running. I'm running. I'm done. I'm done playing video game. Okay, fine. I'll kill some density, okay? I'll kill some. Just, just because we need that little bit of dopamine. But other than that, we're still just blasting, okay? Uh, 
my game is getting really laggy. I don't know if something's going on in my background on my PC, but... I don't know if it's just this area or what's going on, but something's funky. All I'm gonna say is this feels like an Act 5 loading screen right now. There's that no no. Enrique, I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm very tired, though. I only slept an hour before this launch. So it probably won't be too long of a stream today. It might be like six hours, I'd say. Depends on how addicted and how, you know, how awake I feel. I got global chat up. Why is global chat up? It says it's disabled, but... Alright, we're level 27. We're chilling. Look for signs of the outcast mage. Is that them down there? All I'm seeing is some dialogue with people. How's the game? Fun? Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Yes. I do find it very interesting that you can like kind of half interact with, with NPCs though. I think that's a bit of a like scuff mechanic in this game. Easy. Hence the easy. Hmm, bug that, that I got at the start. The Not happening. Your soul is mine. Your soul is mine. Nope, not true. I'm fine, bro. The game looks fun. It is, man. It is. It's been enjoyable so far. Easy. Too easy. Is it possible to break through these or what? Guess I have to go around. Or not. I'm not sure if you're comfortable with the fact that Kano can see us now. Look, oh, man. I've always been able to see you. I just never said anything about it. The Shadow Strike thing is kind of cool. I like notice it every once in a while. And the fact that like I leave a number of blade behind a dash. It's pretty neat. Not happening. Not happening. 
Don't know if I'm supposed to go here, but let's go. Oh, thanks, dude. I mean, I guess I'm not not supposed to be here. Like, maybe I come back. At some point, I'm really gonna have to fucking route this shit and see if there's any randomness. It doesn't seem like there's much randomness to the maps, though. That's one thing that's interesting. Because if there's not much randomness to the maps, then it literally all just comes down to- Whoa, plated belt of purity. Why is it all red and screamy? Ah, fucking scary. Why is it all red and screamy at me? That was close. Probably has plus one suffix. What the fuck does that mean? Crafting yet. Not happening. I see. Yeah, it seems like the cooldown reduction speed would be the thing, probably. Do I have zero health potions? Ah, fuck. Oh, it's up there. That'd probably be like an end game filter that you're using there, right? That's it. Welcome, traveler. I don't know if this is the best, Welcome, but it is an alternative. That's the way that I see it. I see this as an alternative. It seems like an actual uh, an alternative that's actually fun and enjoyable so far. But again, I said the same thing about D4 and then D4 got really boring really quickly. Whoa, chill with that man. The fuck? I can't move sometimes. That was close. Not happening. Welcome, traveler. May Terra smile upon you. I will say something I don't mind about this game right now is that like as much as sometimes the monster density like the monster density kind of like hits the same level as like D2 at the moment to some extent it, it hits like the sweet middle between like D2 and like kind of D4 PoE to me just goes way too over the top with density sometimes but yeah this game is hitting that sweet middle for me and I like it and I do like that they constantly keep shit spawning. Like, it feels like things just keep like appearing out of whatever. Like if you've like the have to backtrack, like it feels like shit just like naturally spawns. Scholars, boots of lucidity. Increased cooldown recovery speed. Intelligence. Not happening. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Price-wise, it's it's worth it, hundred percent. I never once said that D4 is worth it price-wise. Like when it comes to D4, I'd always suggest people get it when it's on a sale, which you know it should go on sale pretty often because it's it ain't 
It ain't a hundred bucks worth, that's for sure. Is online working yet? No idea, I haven't tested it. I'm enjoying my little self playthrough. It's still not working, damn dude. It's not looking good for their launch, unfortunately. Because I think a lot of people obviously were pretty excited for online and trade league stuff and all that, but... It's kind of crazy, like, what happens when you get your fucking build online, isn't it? Like, you literally go from, like, having, you know, an okay amount of fun, maybe, or no fun in some cases, to having a shit ton of fucking fun and just being like, yep, I'm just playing Dopamine Simulator. Are you playing offline at the moment, Jenga, or nah? Where are you at right now? Not happening. Easy. Oh, you're not following a guide, fair fair. What class are you playing? Warlock. Interesting. D4 will be an Xbox subscription in the end of March if you're correct. Oh, that'd actually be cool for a lot of people. Oh my god, what the fuck? I saw my HP is zero. Huh? How did that work? Was it the ward that kept me alive? That was nuts. I didn't realize you could go to zero HP. Yeah, that's something that I, like when I was um, watching a video I think about this game, I think, oh yeah, Rax, Rax was talking about it. Rax was saying that like, this is one of those games where you can kind of just go in and like you don't really necessarily need to follow a build guide to still have like a semi-decent experience. Yeah, exactly. Some people will actually enjoy the figuring out the builds and stuff. You won't make it far. Like that is their fun. Hey, you calling me smooth brain here? I mean, you're not wrong. Not happening. Yeah, that kind of sucks cool, for sure. Not bah. Holy fuck, why are there so many idols here? Holy shit. Not 
It is kind of nice that it picks up like all the shards in one spot, but. This looks just like Diablo 4. Nah, it's a lot better. Also, I'm not gonna lie, something about the top-down view looks a little different, like... It still looks top-down, but it looks like it's an angle. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a slightly different angle. You clicked on an idol shrine? What? What's so funny? I get it. They're idols. Nah, I know, I know. That's, that's, that's why all the idols dropped there. Because I clicked on the idol shrine, obviously. Yeah. Alright, it's probably time to like take a moment to like review my build a bit. Not happening. Make sure that I'm actually playing the game. It is angled? Yeah, I thought so. It looks like it's a slightly different angle, but I kinda like it. It's like satisfying. Get off my fucking swamp! Yeah. Yeah, full level. Hurry, I'm breaking. I'll take that as a yes. Not it's time to break the chains. Hey, Garrick. Well, that was actually kind of refreshing. Increased nah. critical strike nah, chance per dagger equipped. Holy shit, that's sick. But I can't equip it because it's way too fat. Chance to bleed on hit is kind of interesting. Physical res. Physical damage, I guess. Oh, this thing is going to be a fucking massive DPS increase. I can already see it. Just kidding. Smile. Smile. Hee <laughs> hee. Why is it not? Is it the attack speed? I didn't lie, it's kind of cool there. I want to keep it aside. Somehow thought this game was going out next week. What is and what what is and was so bad about D4? D4 just like lacked a lot of like content and was not polished at all. Like they released the game, charged a hundred dollars for something that was the buggiest fucking mess, and just had like so many like not good systems and even after the patches that they've put out and the content that they've tried to release and stuff it's still not in a good spot it's just like you can be done with d4 in like 24 hours and the replayability doesn't really feel like it's there as much like even d2 has more replayability and that's saying something like d2 is d2 is one of those games where i can be done with that game in like 24 hours as well but like it's you just fucked safely it seems problem is yes I'll, I'll only slow you down you're still here you're not quite done with the game in like 24 hours, but generally speaking, like, it's just, I don't know. 
It just lacks a lot of like interesting content. It literally feels like they just copy and pasted D3 and turned it into like an MMO. <laughs> With no chat system, no way of interacting with other players easily. Like. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at my shit. Ooh, ah, fuck. Wait, yeah. Bro, poison hurts. It's also hard to tell if you're poisoned sometimes. Alright, let's see where we're at. So what is this one? Six out enemies slowly? Ooh. Has increased attack speed and you gain ward. Cool. Gain ward on recall, is it? Oh yeah, with the recall. I don't know what this is doing. Swift recovery? Ah, oh, it's just giving me more. And I think Smoke Bomb wants me to finish this off. Now after that, I think I go over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it definitely feels like it could have been a good game. Not happening. But I honestly think that the way that they built D4, oh shit, the way that they built D4, um, it's like, just not in a great spot. Not happening. Like there's so many systems that already exist in the game, it, the whole game would probably even need a full rework or redesign or whatever. Just D4 on steroids? Give or take. It's the the way the best way to describe this is that this is the in-between of D2, D4, and PoE. It sits in the middle. Shards. I probably shouldn't try and switch weapons while I'm attacking because I think I have like a stacking effect that makes my damage <laughs> do placebo shit. happening. <laughs> just gave this boss like 120 bleed stacks? Holy shit. So have you just you just built like the ultimate boss killer, have you? What's a dungeon? Oh, I actually don't know. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't been in one, but I'm gonna assume that yeah, they're just like... I don't know. Dungeons, <laughs> probably. Probably the same as dungeons in D4. Maybe where you go for like certain side quests or specific unlocks and stuff. D3 is okay. Like it, it, it targets a different audience. 
too easy. I honestly yeah. don't mind D3. I prefer D3 over D4 nowadays. I, the reason why I don't like D4 is literally because it just feels like a copy paste of D3. If it actually tried to be a bit more of a unique game, holy fuck, I'm gonna die. Holy fuck, I'm gonna die. Please, push him, please. Uh, if, if it was like trying to be its own unique game and was still like bad, I guess, I'd be like, sure. But it literally just took like every system that existed in D3 and just tried to like make it its own thing, but it was still the same, you know? Like, the leaderboard system that they're introducing is literally just Griff leaderboards. That's all it is. Nightmare dungeons are just Griffs. Dungeons are just rifts. Have a little weed and wine chat. Yeah, a lot of people don't, like, a lot of hard, diehard D2 fans don't really like D3 that much. And it does make sense. You're invulnerable while shifting. Let's fucking go. But yeah, no, as, I, as I was saying, uh, D3 definitely just feels like it's, um, now, the, the, hey now. like it, it was its own thing. It, it was different from D2. All it wasn't necessarily better than D2 or worse than D2 then in my opinion. It's just different. I don't feel like they're comparable. But, um, D4, as I said, literally just feels like the exact same product except just slapped on with a number four and a different storyline. Like, don't get me wrong, playing D4 storyline actually feels kind of fun. I don't mind, I didn't mind doing campaign speedruns besides the fucking mischief quest. And there is something that I do like about D4. I do like the capstone dungeons. Trying to do the creator fight at level 30 or 40. Definitely one of the most fun experiences you can have in that game because it's actually a hard fight. Same with the Elias fight. They're the two hard fights, and that's it. And I guess obviously Uber Lilith was challenging for a little while until, you know, you get your build just batshit insane, but like between between Curator and Elias, those two, like actually having like caps on what level you can fight them at and that kind of stuff. Good. They were good. They were really, really good. Hey Mondrax, thanks for the raid. How's it going? What's up, you Tega? How you doing? Oh shit, I just realized I missed something over here. Hey Mondrax, how's it going? What were you streaming today? Lost Epoch question mark? <laughs> oh, this guy's apparently- this guy's a bad guy. That I had to kill. Not happening. Let's see. Buried in the throne. You're taking Mondrax for the walk of shame. They failed hardcore raid him well. Oh no. That's not good. What happens when you fail? Because yeah, I know I know like hardcore there's like hardcore classic now, right? Ah, okay. I don't really know how this kind of stuff I don't, I don't know how, like, WoW works, but, like, at least the new systems they in introduce and stuff. Leave, said the game. Man, it's just gonna get really fucking warm in here. Not only that, but I think there's gonna be a lot of sun glare coming in. Ugh. 
I was gonna say, you can already like kind of see it on my shirt, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sun bear is pretty bad. But yeah, that's rough. Uh, I don't like either... I don't either like a diehard D2 fan. Oh, you don't like either like a diehard D2 fan, but you played a lot of D3 to be honest, so it's absolutely different, but still. Yeah. No, I agree. As I said, like, I just think that the problem that I have with D4 is just because, uh... It's just, as I said, it's like, it just copied everything that D3 had already. It tried to do it differently. Like, slap on basically a new paint. But yeah. So now it's August in Australia. Well, it's February. But yeah. It is summer here. It is summer. D2 is epic? Yeah. D2 is the game that I speedrun, Monjo's. <laughs> it is the game I do the big speedruns of. But yeah, sorry to hear that you had like a wipe session, I guess, or... In WoW. Like, I don't know, I've had a... I've played a little bit of WoW in the past and I do remember like, wiping a lot on certain stuff. It's always rough. Looks like Blade Sentinel Sin, having fun. Yeah, it's kind of like Blade Sentinel Sin. It's similar. Except you have like, control, like you can, you can like, cast out two and call them back, basically. Very cool. It reminds me of Twisting Blades, but with more control. If you play D4 at all. And I'll also leave out like one of the blades when I dash like that too. Oh wait, there's a thing here. But now this has been enjoyable so far. Definitely recommend it. And by the way, if, if anyone is planning on getting it, um, and you would like to help support me a little bit, um, you can purchase the game through my Nexus link, which you can find here. That would be very cool and very epic. I can only imagine how she feels. Is this a 10 out of 10? So far for me right now, like based on my first impressions and my first playthrough, easily like at least an 8, 8.5. I won't know until I reach the end game stuff. I have heard some people, some people give like proper mixed reviews of the end game of, of this, saying it's like not exactly like not exactly what they wished it would be. But I do like some of the systems already from what I've heard and seen. Like some of the crafting looks very interesting, and I'm not usually a huge crafter, but this game definitely gets me interested. But it kind of takes like a lot of elements from different ARPGs and kind of like mixes them all into one. Like I feel like right now. It kind of has the density of D4. Sometimes the difficulty of like D2 mobs, PoE mobs kind of thing. And uh, it has like PoE level difficulty in boss fights for sure. Or at least like campaign difficulty. I don't know about any other stuff. I don't know if there's like uber content or whatever it is. This season just start? Yeah, the game literally just launched 1.0 today. The game did just do a 1.0 launch today. Hidden so a word of advice. Don't ask her about the diamond matrons. You'll regret it. So that's why Llama and you are playing it? Yeah. <laughs> if 
feels fun, man. It's scratching an itch that's needed to be scratched for a while. shouldn't stand up there while the boss is smacking you in the head. Okay, I think it wants me to do Blade Dance uh, Falconer for a little bit now. Soul Thief. Oh, we unlocked another slot. Uh, Synchronized Strike is the thing I'm supposed to be putting in here now. It requires a melee weapon. Jumps forward and strikes in an area in front of you while the shadow appears and simultaneously strikes on either side of you. Interesting. Yeah, the graphics do look pretty good. I like them a lot. I don't think it's too colorful like D3. I don't think it's like too dark like D4 or PoE to some extent. Like PoE can get pretty dark sometimes. But yeah, I might have to adjust my uh, lighting in a second, guys. I'm getting a lot of light coming in, so give me a second. I'm going to turn off my game while I do so. I might also grab some food real quick and take a short break, but yeah. I will be AFK for just a little bit.
Hello, my friends. Back. I'm not gonna go on cam straight away since I kind of want to eat my food. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be alive for much longer because two reasons. I'm pretty fucking tired. And, uh, second of all... Um... Second of all, something. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Tired because you slept like an ass, go bitch. Am I honestly? Not right now, but... The downside as well is that it's getting like really hot. And... Yeah. <laughs> and funnily enough, being on cam actually like drains my energy a lot more. Even though it doesn't even entail anything, like it's just... I don't know. There's something about being on cam that just makes me more tired. And being tired in the first place is just not helping that, but... Yeah. I don't really think I could play this game for too much longer. I might give it like another hour or two. But I am going to eat my food real quick, so... Let's do that. Dude, I'm gonna say real quick, by the way. Fucking genius idea of them to have offline mode launch with this launch, though. If they didn't have offline mode and people were still sitting here waiting for online, holy fuck. Imagine. Like, con from a content creator's perspective, at least. You'd have so many people just sitting there just watching people in queue. Or people in queue. There's nothing worse than like a launch and you're a content creator and you're just trying to like fucking sit there and like log into a game. Or like tech issues or something. We had the same thing in D2L at a launch, it was fucked. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely sucks for race to 100. But I mean, at the end of the day, like race to 100, was it going to be done online? Was it going to be done in a group? Was it going to be done solo? Like, how? like no one knows, man. Does SCF count? Wait, what did they- what did they do with, uh... What did they do? What, like, were they actually organizing something, like, people who race to 100 first or whatever get, like, something? Don't tell me they did, like, a little statue thing, dude. That'd be funny.
Take it easy, Jenga. Thanks for the help, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I am kinda crashing. I am kinda crashing, guys. As I said, I only did get one hour before I, one hour of sleep before I started the stream. So maybe that BRB five to ten minutes actually turns into a BRB tomorrow. We can always continue from where we left off and stuff later. Get some rest. Yeah, I think I might, to be honest. <laughs> it's just bad because I don't know if I'm going to be like awake at a good time for a D2R ladder launch as well. But I do feel like that would be easier to stay up for, I guess. Like, what I can always do is I can always wake up, stream last epoch, and then stay up until D2 ladder launch. Like, stream last epoch until D2 ladder launch, and then just stream D2 ladder launch. So, maybe maybe I'll do it like that. And then go to bed after D2 ladder reset. Once we've done everything we need to do, like all the torch shit. But yeah. No, I think that's probably the right call, though. It's getting a bit late, plus it's a bit of an off-stream hour for me right now. Like, I know this is not my usual streaming hours, but... Could just set an alarm and go to bed. Me and alarms don't work, but the thing is, basically, I'd need to sleep a long time, is what I'm trying to say. Because otherwise what's going to happen is that I'm going to be going to bed at this time tomorrow, if that makes sense. And that, like, D2R ladder launch is in, like, 26 or 27 hours from now. So... But yeah, no, this game has been really fun, man. I really look forward to actually, like, speedrunning it, routing it a little bit, and fucking around with it. So. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the game the game today. I hope that, uh, obviously I'll see you next time I stream it. I'll probably be live sometime tomorrow. Prob I, I want to say probably within, like, 12 hours from now I should be live, give or take. Like, I'd say 12 to 16. Within 12 to 16 hours from now I should be live again. Um, and I'll probably stream for like 12 hours after I've had a real good sleep. So, tomorrow will definitely be a long stream. We're going to be a long last epoch stream into D2 ladder. So, stick around. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it as always. Obviously, if you do want to get the game, feel free to uh, grab it here off the Nexus. But other than that, I will see you guys all later. Um, I don't know who to raid, man. Literally everyone and... Everyone is fucking playing this game right now. I do not know who to send you over to. Like, as I said, I'm just scrolling through the list. Llama? You could do Llama. Yeah, I'll send you guys over to Llama, sure, why not? Alright, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.